What's good, chat? I'm here with Jake. Hello, um, I'm Jake. Yeah, they can totally hear you, but we're gonna work on seeing you. Thanks okay. for thanks for 15k, chat. I appreciate it a lot. Um, not, I was very surprised to be honest with you guys. I, I was not expecting 15k so soon. So thank you guys. Um, and we're just gonna play some Mario today, Mario Kart, to to vibe with it. We've got Jake, um, of Jake from well he used to be from game explain now he's not he has his own channel that's right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how's that going for you how is that going for me yeah. i think it's delightful you know it gave me an excuse to replay pokemon heart gold Ooh. and i've been having the time of my life dude time of my life yeah so yeah good time yeah what's your favorite pokemon game my favorite pokemon game oh josie right out of the gate with the tough questions uh <laughs> unfortunately it's red and blue Mm, okay. I know, I know. It's so depressing, but yeah, it's the truth. To be honest, I've like I fell off of Pokemon for a while, so I don't know if that's that bad. I really have no idea. It's Do it's just not like those. No, they they they're just the first everybody one, whines right? about so them. Like, the first ones. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. I just think the sense of adventure and discovery in that in that world for the first time before any of it before it adhered to the formula, it was really special. It's mm. it's not quite as um, sanitized as later games will be. They don't know they don't know what Pokemon is yet. Okay. It's yeah, it's such a different vibe, dude. Oh man. I'm just trying to like get this is chat. This is really scuffed right now. I apologize. Listen, uh, I oh my god, I'm up there. Wow, you are that's up there, that, but that's you're brutal. Just, like, uh, young Ant in the chat threw in uh, Jake from State Farm immediately, and I got to tell you. I you would not believe in my life how often I am dealt yeah, Jake from State off? Farm. Oh, Josie to no to no end. I I'm at I'm at Starbucks. What's your name? Jake. Uh Jake from State Farm. I'm uh, literally yeah. anything. I'm on the phone with somebody. What's your name? Oh, what's your name, sir? Jake. Uh from State Farm. I'm like brother, this is a customer call service. Please <laughs> leave is, your jokes at the doing? door. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> oh man. Um, chat, you guys are back. Sorry, I, I left you guys off the screen for a second. Um, well, chat, today the plan is that we are going to play Mario Kart for 15k. If you want my friend code, all you gotta do, exclamation point FC in the chat. It should come up. We're gonna do it with Jake over here. Um, and we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna hop into it. I, let me think about that. I think you should be fine to get in, Jake. I don't think we have enough people right. here for it to be an issue. Great. Um, but yeah, what's up, Laker twenty twenty? I usually say hi to everybody in chat. So, Young yeah. Ant, Jam Wilson, Keith, Cristobal. Wait, hold on. My monitor just actually turned off, which is really awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Um, the vibes are pretty chill today. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. Um, we're pretty much just gonna hang out, and I'm gonna try to find out a charger for my controller that's dead all the time. What is the status of the eclipse for everyone? Josie, did that's you see the eclipse? Good question. I not. I slept in. Um, of course. I feel bad. I wanted to really badly, but then we were only gonna get like forty percent visibility. So I was like, "Is there a point? I can see pictures." Right. Um. I I will say, Josie, I did I did panic because the second the eclipse occurred. Do you know what happened? No. I I could no longer firebend. Oh, uh, that was pretty detrimental. All right. I was freaking out, no, that's dude. Bad. It was, yeah, I'm like, dang, I hope nobody attacks. <laughs> I, it, oh, God. This would be a bad day for, for Aang and his homies to come get us. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah. agree. What did you yeah. think of that live action? Oh, me and uh, me and Sarah, my fiance, we watched the whole thing, and we think it's pretty bad. We yeah. think it's pretty yeah. bad. It's pretty horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I think it pretty fundamentally it's flawed. Like misunderstands mm -hmm. the property and uh, honestly, what they went with. Oh yeah, I oh Josie, I could go on forever. It's it's I have so many issues with it, but I think the top of the list is just like you can't get that great of acting out of those little kids. Yeah, and right then and there, it's it's hard to buy in, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't, I just. Yeah. I don't know, man. That was. I feel like the writers just screwed it too. Like that. That's not what that. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent, dude. They decided it was, it was a war story, 
And I'm yeah. like, yeah, that's why that's why people watch this. You yeah. know, it's like it the, the first three scenes establishing the movements of the war. I'm like, dear God, dude. Yeah, it was it was dumb. Yeah, that was probably the worst thing I've ever seen. I was like livid. I was so mad. I I almost started <laughs> started like a a second channel. Whoa! So I could talk about how much I hated it, cause like truly it made me angry. And I I rewatch Avatar: Last Airbender every year because it's my favorite show of all time. Wow! I watched it for the first time over COVID. Oh, I'd really? I'd never seen it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Sarah's like a huge fan, loved it, and was like, "We have to watch this." And I absolutely adored it. I think like something that really stood out to me about that Avatar show was that I think they like didn't let the um. And from from where I'm standing, I felt that they like didn't let the female characters in particular like be who they were supposed to be. And I like with um, Katara, like the I, I thought that the girl was like so demure and soft. Mm -hmm. And for me, like Katara is supposed to be like sharp and like have a fire to her yeah, and, and like, like constantly baddie. pushing back. Yeah, dude. And like I, I thought in the show it was like everything was like so innocent and sweet. And even with like a. Uh, like Zula, dude. I was like, I know, they're Azula they're trying to way too nice. They're trying to justify everybody. They're they're like hedging everybody's back. Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. just yeah, mis misfires all around. If you ask me, misfires. Well, and then they were like, Sokka can't be sexist. And listen, I don't like sexist people. I get them in the comments all the time. I really don't like them. However, it's his entire arc. So like, what is the point? Yeah. And that's how Katara finds Aang. So I'm like, what are we doing right now? That's one of my um. I do this when I when I teach classes. It's like just because something like like to kill a mockingbird because just because there is racism in the book does not mean that the book is racist. No. And I think some I think sometimes people get scared. You know what yeah. I mean? They don't want to. Yeah, they don't want to be pointed at. And and I kind of understand because people's like media literacy is so low. Yeah. For that sure. you know you know. You, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Is yeah. that the floor? But no, I'm yeah, I'm with you. I I like the actor that was Sokka though. I thought he kind of he did a was good job. Fun to watch. Yeah, he yeah. Was, he, yeah. I think most of the actors were pretty good. I just I think like the writing killed some of them. Yeah. Like I think yeah. Aang could have been okay, but I don't know. I He'll be better. He'll be better next time. Yeah. He'll be better next time. He'll get a better. I think. I think they will grow because that that happens sometimes with these kid actors and they like get hooked up with acting coaches in between seasons and they like physically and mentally grow a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. So I don't know, onwards and upwards. But there's a bunch of new Avatar content coming animated. So that's yes. going to be cool. Yes, I'm really excited yeah. for that. That's yeah, it's been a thing for have you read the comics? The comics are pretty fire. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. And the, have you seen yeah. the, read the Kyoshi book? That's pretty good, too. Oh, see, I did not read the Kyoshi book. That's you cool. Read the Kyoshi book. It's really okay. good. As a right. writer yourself. Nice. Could be really good. Okay. Cool. Um, chat, I'm going to jump over into into here. I'm going to start adding some people. So if you want to be added for Mario Kart, exclamation point FC, that's all you got to do. It'll come up with it right now. Jake, I think I added you. Do you add me? You did, dude. You did. Okay. I'm very glad. I'm that, I'm that sweet Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, do you? I put so much thought into my little icon that I am. I put so much thought into it. You're uh Oh, that yeah, yeah. I I yeah. I kind of did cuz I I like the Splatoon yeah. one and I felt like she yeah. looked like me. Not like really, but she wow. sort of did. So I was like Yeah, I yeah. I feel like it represents a little bit well. Wow, I think it's so cool that you see some of yourself in that like extremely cool octopus lady. No, yeah, I know. I'm like, well, she's cool. I'm cool. We must be the same. Just kidding. Uh, no, yeah. I hear you, dude. But like, I look at like like Yoshi with like a shit eating grin on his face, and I go, <laughs> yeah, that's me. We're the same. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay. Oh wait, I think new people added me. Um, I'm gonna try to add everyone. But cool. we shall see. Medallion, thank you for being the mod here. We appreciate you as always. Ch do you have mods? No, no. <laughs> you don't have mods? No, absolutely not. No, wow. I'm the mod. That's pretty. I'm the judge, jury, and executioner. That's right. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think I'm. I think I'm too combative. You know what I mean? Mods are about keeping the peace, and uh, you don't want the I'm peace. About, I, no, I'm about getting into fights, baby. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. I 
I feel like we I feel like we need the mods at least here. No, I'm sure you do. No, you got to protect yourself. I, I'm the over on my channel. Wild. I've got like eight videos up because I did the first season of the show that I do, which is eight episodes. Right. And uh, and two of those episodes are about like politics, man. Oh, sorry, like, D-Man. Thanks for being here. Sorry. Keep going. I, I'm like I'm like begging people to come fight me. Oh, I know D-Man Gaming. I went to, uh, you like redirected us there once. Yes. I, I watched one of those. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. He's a, he's Shout a, out. He's a champion mod here. Him and- Nice. We got a whole little team. They most most of my, I like I have a Discord and I I don't right. like I'm not in it that much. So mostly my mods run the whole thing. Um, gotcha. Which is rad because okay. I don't really understand Discord. I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't really get like if the mods were wanted to, they could probably throw me out of it and I'd have no control over it. Dude, my chat tells me all the time to open a dis Discord and I'm too scared. Way too scared. It's like there's a lot of random stuff that makes no sense in Discord that you have oh, to yeah. like really know. I don't know. I don't understand it. They they somehow set it up really well, um, and that was just that was just trust on my end. I was like, you guys do whatever you want. Now here's my question: Can I use my exclusive Jake membership emojis on your channel? Oh, it looks like no. What a bummer, dude. Oh, I know. I like how Twitch does that. I don't think you can allow other things on your channel y like yet. Oh dang! I know it's I kind really of a huge bummer. I really like the emojis I made. I made emojis of my dog in like different moods. Oh, that's it, rad! I, I'm really into it. Yeah, that's rad. We. Oh man. I need to update these. We have some like okay ones. We got a lot of DK. Oh nice! We got some fat Kirby, and confused Pikachu, and then I have me in sunglasses. Let's put it in the chat right now. Oh look at that! Pretty rad. Those are. Did you watch that uh, that Donkey Kong animated show? Did you watch that? <laughs> no. Oh, all about it, dude. All Have you it. you've seen it? Oh my god, I watched it as a kid religiously. Oh wow. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right, Chad. I'm old, baby. All right. <laughs> You're probably the same age as most of them. Yeah, probably. Is this you in here right now? Uh, yeah. I like your. You got you got a chin on you. Yeah, dude. That's pretty cool. Listen, I'm very into... I, fun fact about me, Josie. I used to not have a chin. Oh. And then when I was 15 years old, I had a, a plastic surgery. I had a jaw surgery to give me a chin. Really? Yes. That's... A, yes. That's... A, wow. Yes, my dad used to call me the chinless wonder. Oh, sh Yes. I, yes, yes. You've seen the crimson chin? I was his opposite. All right. <laughs> what is this lore? This is wild. I got deep lore. That's right. <laughs> you do have really deep lore. Yeah. That's oh, really funny. Man. Damn, you were just at 10k, Josie. Hello, congrats. Thank you, Rain Roth. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This happened a lot faster than I expected. Um, if you guys want to join, everybody's doing a good job of dropping the friend code, so you can do that. Um, that's all you gotta do. Just, just, and then, and then just launch Mario Kart, and I should have a room opened. I just thought we could have a fun little community stream for 15k. Have a good time with it. Um, I will actually... I'm going to try to get your camera on here, Jake. Oh, cool. So they can they can see the real-time oh, anger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chad, I'll be honest. I'm not very I'm not very good at Mario Kart. Uh, <laughs> when, I, when I used to do the Game Explain streams, the Game Explain chat would be like, oh, man. Real, because they're all extremely good, dude. The people who it, watch you play yeah. Mario Kart are always insane. I'll try to play with my chat every yeah. time they beat the shit out of me, but I am like not that bad. But every single time I play with these guys, I get my uh, stomped. oh my god, look at that. My uh, my older brother once uh, -huh. uh went to the Northeast Regional Championships for Mario Kart Double Dash back in the day. Wow. Yeah, dude. Isn't that something? What a beast. That's pretty impressive. I know. And, and if it wasn't for him, Josie, at the local one, the first round, I I came in second. So I was right there. Wow. Yeah. A dream crusher. I know. I know. He was better than me, though. It was the truth. Ah. I... Well, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know about your me, Josie. I don't know. What? My me looks just like I got freckles. I got everything. I, it's not, I just don't think it's capturing your essence. What is my... I got purple eyes. I should probably change what's it to pink. The, I got I to gotta ask, what's with the hair color? What's going on there? Oh, you know, that's fair. It should be blonde, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest. I feel like I haven't. I'm, I got my Switch. I made my Me when I was 15, and I've never looked back. I know. When was the last time I. Like, the last time I edited my Me, like, I it's had been brown a while. glasses, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. Um, that's because we play on your weekends in the server war strategy. That's true. Yeah, so in my Discord, they, like, play, um. They play Mario Kart all the time. Um. The little community oh, that's, nights. that's cool. It's really cool. Wow. They like all hang out. It's it's very touching. Nice. D man and Jam and Justin G and some other homies. I'm sure it's pretty cool. Dang. Jen. You know, it's so funny. It's like people talk about with like YouTube and stuff having like a parasocial relationship. But I try to tell people sometimes. I'm like, no, you don't understand. It 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 simply becomes a social relationship at a certain point. Yeah. It's, yeah, you're just, it's, you just turn into people. Well, and it's yeah. like both ways. I feel like people don't understand. Like a lot of streamers are super attached to their audience, you know? Yeah. It's always yeah, totally. both way. Oh yeah. Um, uh, Tony Velli in the chat asks, is Jake still with Game Explain? No, Tony Velli. I'm on my own, baby. I'm on my own, living, living a sweet life of independence, like uh, Miss Kelly Clarkson. Wow. Yeah. Did you get that reference, Josie, or did that go over the head? It did right over the head, but I like oh, Kelly Clarkson. She had, a, she, she had a hit song called uh, Miss Independent back in the day. Oh, okay. That really took the country by storm. I know Call Me Maybe pretty well. That's Carly Rae Jepsen. Whoops. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I said it, and I was like, that's wrong. That's totally wrong. Wow. Not having familiarity with Kelly Clarkson is kind of shit. I do. I love Kelly Clarkson. Okay. I do. I just... Okay, okay. I. I I'm just since you've been gone. Come on. Of course, I love since you've been gone. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. I'm not a maniac. Okay. Um, chat again. If you guys want to join, you really should. It's just gonna be a vibe. It's gonna be a straight vibe sesh of fun. So, I think you, you'd honestly be missing out. That's is for real. Um. Also, I don't know how I feel about this orientation. I don't know where to put you, Jake. Dude, you can just make me a little small amoeba in the corner, you know what I mean? <laughs> That'd be so funny. It's like, like one one eyeball view, you know what I'm saying? Like, just <laughs> like I'm peering through the window. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can... Oh, man. Where? Oh, where? What if I just put you, like, dead in the middle? Oh, dude. Just screw chaotic. everything up. Nobody get to see the like gameplay. I'm, like, I'm in the backseat of the car while it's driving, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. If you had a green screen, that'd be ideal. We could just put you in the cart. I do, Josie. I can pull it up. Oh, wow. That's crazy. It's right behind me. Wow. Do you use wow. it for your videos? Uh, when I was at Game Explain, I used it fairly frequently because we had a lot of uh, like st studio 3D backgrounds made for us. Okay. Um, that I was supposed to use with the videos. But now now I, I kind of like the cozy vibe of being in like a real place. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, so... I'm the same yeah. way. Would... Yeah. Um, a lot of people are always like, "You would you green screen over your your gameplay like for streams and stuff?" I'm like, huh, I don't know. I kind of like the idea that I'm in, like this little floating box. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is. I will say it is. It is nice sometimes. It is nice to because it's just so much easier to fit you into the the the, the screen when you don't have a whole square you need to account yeah. for. Yeah. But... Yeah. Jake's head on Josie's body, though. No. <laughs> That's super funny. I could do that like this. Oh man. Um. Erm. Um, yeah, we can wait for a couple. Josie, I sent you a friend request. Okay. Why is Jake not a game explain? Anthony Smith wow, out here answer, asking the tough, the tough questions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, I wrote like a whole essay about it on Twitter. But the at the end of the day, guys, uh, you know, I've had a lot of different careers in my life, and I think I was just done being a professional video game youtuber i just couldn't the the grind was grinding me and uh it is a total you know, grind the, yeah the, the month that i quit was uh i had just signed a couple of like writing contracts that i was really excited about so i was like you know what i think i can float for a few months before i find my next permanent thing um so it just was the it was just the right time but um yeah, I was, I don't know. I, I felt like I was doing a lot of work and not necessarily getting the, what I would want out of, out of doing all that work at a company. You know, you want to go up and mm -hmm. I kind of felt like I hit the ceiling. 
So it was like, all right, if I hit the ceiling, I gotta, I gotta do something else because I don't want to just hang out here for years yeah. and go nowhere, you know. So, yeah. I feel like that's pretty so hopefully, like that's upward. pretty hard with yeah. YouTube stuff is to like move up if you're not the creator too of the like the whole channel. Like I see that a lot with like uh, people working at other other channels and stuff. They want to go somewhere, but there's just like it's where do you go? <laughs> you just kind of have to leave and go yeah. on to something better most of the time. Right. And um, D-Man Gaming asks, what are you doing now currently, Jake, if you don't mind me asking? D-Man Gaming. That's, uh, so there are some things I can't talk about because I, I used to work in the entertainment industry and I obviously there's like some cloak and dagger stuff going on there. But uh, but the first thing I did was I got like a really cool copywriting contract uh, doing a collaboration between a product and a Disney brand. And I can't say I can't say which, but it was like cool to be like, oh, I'm talking to the Disney people, and I'm talking to the product people. Wait, I and I'm think like I writing, know what you're talking about. Can I? Yeah, can yeah, I... and I'm like I'm like writing future social media posts for them mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I mean, last uh, a week and a half ago, I was in New York City uh, pitching a pitching a movie, and that was crazy. So yeah, it's a lot of good stuff. But I think like my main thing is I'm trying to work on my novel. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Trying to yeah, trying to finish that puppy. So. Whoa. Which I'm excited about. Yeah. Glycinlic the Tio? Is that how you say that? Glycinlic. I think you nailed it. Yeah, sure. Thank you for the two pounds. Dude, I, I never know. I'm so bad with other currencies. I really apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like such an American loser in that way. <laughs> um, I'll send you a friend request. Thank you. Thank you for the two whatever it is. I appreciate you. Canadian? Maybe that's Canadian. Oh. I want to go to Canada. I really wanted to go to Canada when I was 19 so I could go bar hopping. Um, ah. But now but now that I'm about to be 21, I was just like, there's no point anymore. I don't need to travel. Sure. I can just drink here. When's the birthday? Um, What's today? 8th? 14th? Yeah. Six days. No way. Yeah. Wow. That's so exciting. Right here. I know. I'm excited. I'm going to go wine tasting. No way! That's, yes. That rips, dude. Yeah. So you're uh, you're an Aries. I am. Nice, dude. I don't Does know if I really believe. No, I don't really believe in. Oh, okay. That okay. At I all. Maybe that was that was your vibe. But all right, all right. Do you believe in it? Uh, no, not at all. But I, but I've like passively picked up a lot of uh, a lot about it just from mm -hmm. people in my life that are really into it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I think it's all so general that it just doesn't work at all. But. Yeah, I used to describe it as um, it's like a type of writing that you write it in a way that it can apply to anybody through the magic of perspective. But yes, yeah. like if you want it I to love, work, uh, it can totally work. Exactly, exactly. But there, like, there's a way to write stuff like that. Yeah. But like, it's just it's so general. It's like you yeah. are gonna ha you're gonna find a strike of good luck today, and it's like wow, <laughs> I got I got free Starbucks because the guy in front of me paid. Or it's like, oh, I didn't get in a car accident on the way to Starbucks. Like, what? What is? What is the? Yes. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel so general. Josie, I, I got to tell you, as you're going through accepting these friend requests, I am running, unbeknownst to you and them, psychological analysis based on what they picked as their profile picture on. Really? <laughs> oh my God! I I am internalizing every single decision. I'm like, wow, interesting. You went with Urbosa, huh? Okay. Or oh, and that background. Okay, okay. <laughs> Putting, putting that in the back of my head. Yeah. Um, and I'm doing the same thing with the Miis as they show up in the game. I'm just like, all right, your favorite color is the light blue. Interesting. A popular choice, you know? It's, what does yeah. that say? Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Who is this? I feel like I should have made myself smaller. I feel like I'm way too large. Like, I'm very, sh I'm a short person. Yeah, uh, my mine's like a big boy for some reason. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. I think I might have made him that way because I wanted to be heavy in Mario Kart classes. You know? Oh, I does that have an effect? Like a... Yes, it does. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never ever play as the Miis. Oh, playing as the Miis is kind of fun because um, they added in those costumes, right? Mm -hmm. So, and the costumes have unique uh, trick animations and things like that. So they do special things. Oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah. So if you wear like the cow suit, they'll do like funny cow taunts when they do <laughs> tricks. That's funny. Yeah. Um, chat, I'm gonna start this. I think you guys can still just join it. I don't know. If not, I apologize and we can we can stop. We'll just do a little a little four race. Cool. Um, and then I'll throw in Yeah, I think that's good. 
We'll start the race chat. Um, I made my Wii when I was four. I'm never changing it. <laughs> wow, nice, nice, dude. That's rad. You know, my Wii, my me from the Wii is like so different. It's tiny. Mm. I'm like the smallest stature you can be. Um, cause wow. I was, cause I was three. So, makes and sense. I wish it, I wish it just grew up with you without you having Oh, to... how cool would that be? That'd be so rad. Yeah. Like it just yeah. got like a little bit taller every year. Right, 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 right. You like hooked it up to um, what do you call it? Like the Wii Fit, and it like gets your biometric <laughs> sense. Like we got it, we got it. Don't worry. Yeah, the Wii Fit that was like that was like you're obese if you did you see did you see that? Oh, of course, of course. It's so wild. You're like I loved I loved the Wii Fit, man. It told. It's funny. I I just had a conversation about how it told everybody they were fat. Yeah. Oh, hello, Jake's wow. selection for wow. the course. Wow. I, I guess I'm God's favorite. I guess so. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. Thank you, thank you. Um, can you turn him up a bit? Yeah. Oh, please. My B. Wow, first time in my life anyone has ever asked for me to be louder. I, I was thinking he was like, turn up, like he wants you to get drunk. Oh, okay. That's what I was assuming, but I guess not. We go wild. <laughs> take a shot. There we go. <laughs> not that I would know anything about that. Josie, fun fact about me. I cannot handle alcohol. Really? Yes, we think I might be allergic, like, to that oh, degree. Oh, yeah, I have a friend who's like that. Yes. Yeah. Just completely broken. Takes me one drink, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. On, dude. It's, yeah, it's brutal. It's a tough life. <sighs> I love this course. This is one of my all-time faves. It's pretty good. I was yeah. very... Um, I like that you can still do this. Why is this Kamek such an asshole? <laughs> yeah, this oh no! Um, I like that you uh, can still do that that shortcut here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It works super well. On no! Somebody, somebody almost killed me right there when I was doing the shortcut. No, I see you. It. You're doing just fine. But they didn't, so it's <laughs> fine. That's because I'm so good. Wow. Really oh, bad. this Kamek is being a little bit of a. I know he's a menace. You know? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Gotta relax. Um, what'd you do for your 21st birthday? Do you remember? Oh my god, 21! Alright, let's see. When would that have been? Okay. Um... I think I, I think I must have... I think it was low-key. It was definitely low-key. Mm -hmm. I think... Oh, you know what? No, I remember. I remember. So, uh, Josie, I actually have a birthday tradition that I do every year. Okay. And, and every year, I invite my closest friends over and I make them play a game that I have made. Okay. Okay, so I make a game every year, and then I invite people over and we play the game. Sometimes it's a board game, sometimes it's a card game, a trivia game. I change it every year, so you never know what it's gonna be. Okay. Um, and I make people compete. And for my 21st birthday, it was of course a drinking game. Rad. And uh, it got out of hand. <laughs> no. it, got, it, went, it went off the rails. It went off the rails fast. It's hard uh, to get them to play yeah. people to play a new game like that when yes. they're under that. Influence. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. I was like, you guys are not adhering to the rules. <laughs> yeah. I, you know. This is not how you play this game. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh man. That's funny. But uh this I, I will say this year was a big success with the birthday game. Yeah, what was Oh it? no! Shock Dodge, baby. That was wild. Oh, wow. Um so this year was a trivia game in which you answered trivia questions to earn attack points to attack monsters. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, and you could target the monsters and there were like different spots would give you different amounts of damage. And if you killed them, you got a bunch of gold and you used the gold to buy items. It was it was very involved. But uh, wow. unlike my 21st birthday game, people did a great job of following the rules. That's good. Yeah. That's very good. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Um, what place did you come in, Josie? Third, except I almost got first. I was wow. really close, and then some loser hit me with a red shell at the very end. I was moments away from activating a star, and the lightning struck. Oh, it that's such an L. I, I, got the, I activated yeah. the ghost, and then the lightning struck after, so I actually got mm -hmm. that shot. Which I was pretty happy about. Are you an energy drink guy? Oh, absolutely not. They scare me. Mm. 
Yeah, I associate uh, energy drinks with ne'er do wells. What is that? <laughs> ne'er do wells, you know, no good nicks. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Are you an energy drink person? I'm the biggest energy drink girl. Wow, Josie, but they're disgusting. Oh my God, RGT. Thank you so much for the 20. Here's some money to go buy more subs. Thank you. Dang, how, much, how many dollars per sub? What would you say? I don't know. I don't know how that works. All right. I don't Here's know. Here's some money to go buy some more subs. <laughs> did you hear that? You, you gotta... No, wait. Did, did something happen? Uh, there's like an alert and like I, it has text to speech and it's like this British man. Oh, no, no. I did not hear he that. He has some money end. to go buy more subs. Oh, that rules. That's pretty cool. Thank Dang. you, RGT. I'll use it for when we go to too many games so I can get alcohol because I'll be 21. <laughs> now, Josie, your your character here is Toadette. Is that your go-to? Oh yeah, I'm always Toadette in Mario Kart. Always Toadette. Always okay. Toadette. You... Always a bike. Wow. Always, Interesting. Always. always a bike as well. Yeah, I don't like the way the carts handle. I don't know what it is. Wow. Okay. I don't know. It kind of screws well, me on a lot of things because the drifting is kind of weird sometimes. Mmm. See, I feel that way about the bikes. Interesting. Yeah, and I, I feel like your first Mario Kart game was probably Wii. It was Wii, but yep. I was really okay. bad. So actually, the first Mario Kart game I really played was the very first one on the SNES. Whoa! Yeah, because when I was like, I was 10, I made this yeah. Raspberry Pi. Um, okay. And I programmed it with a bunch of like old games because oh, I. Oh, you mean the technological device? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you were telling me a story about baking a pie, but no, that's fine. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I made a. Uh, yeah, so I made that, yeah. and then um, I would like sit in our. We had like a travel trailer, so I plugged it up in uh -huh. there, and I. I would, oh, cool. I would play all these old games, and so I got mm. really good at the first Mario Kart, which I think actually like helped me a lot and made me a lot better at these future ones because oh. I like, knew how that original one worked. Um, and you didn't have to drift, which was nice because at that time I, right. had, I didn't understand drifting. Yeah. So it was pretty. It was pretty solid. D-Man. I'm not. Yeah. Thank you for the five. I'm with RGT here. Go buy some more subs. Okay. Thanks, guys. Wow, good on you <laughs> having glancing over at the chat while racing, dude. Oh yeah. That's okay. pro status. Gotta keep them entertained, you know? Yeah. I'm with RGT here. Uh, I'm not even old enough sucks. to have played that that Super Nintendo Mario Kart, honestly. That yeah. that one passed me by, yeah. No! Oh, that was that was me, Josie. I just That was me. Oh no. That's right. That's... See you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whoa, RJ passing me up now. Yeah. And RJ's got that UK flag, so I'm already like, God, oh, I don't know, dude. Ridiculous. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no, what he... He, oh, he banana Yeah, that was brutal. Oh, my God. Wow, I'm ashamed. That was kind of brutal. Um, have you seen the YouTube channels that do buy their subs? It's pretty crazy. I don't. Fun fact about me, I'm pretty much like a big YouTube baby. I don't watch a lot of YouTubers, and I don't really... I I am on the platform like an island. I don't I don't know how it works. I don't know who the big ones are. Okay. Um, yeah, like, what, so somebody buys their subs. Is their channel just like... It pretty much kills a channel because you don't get any mm. engagement based off of those subs, and so since the mm. subs don't care, then... Okay then YouTube doesn't think it's a good video and they don't push it to anyone. So everyone who buys subs, their channel just auto dies every time. And you can always tell because you'll like click on a channel to have like 180,000 subs, but they get three views or like a hundred views or whatever. And it's just, it's pretty crazy. I see that on Instagram sometimes. Oh, yeah, I there's see, a lot of Instagram bots. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I go look at their likes, and I'm like, are there the engagement, you know? And I'm like, wait, this isn't, this doesn't line up. What's no, going on here? No, not yeah. at all. I, I agree. Um, thank you for the 5D, man. And again, thank you for the 20 RGT. I appreciate it. Um, more of daily motion, guy. What? Josie did a legal uh, emulation. I... My dad at one point owned those games, so I feel like it was fine. Oh, yeah, it was know. fine, dude. It was fine. It was Plus, fine. 
I I would have gone to juvie, so at that point it was cool. <laughs> they would have they would have thrown the book at you. They would have incarcerated you. Dang, Josie, get a better lawyer. <laughs> oh my god. What's up, uh, Lucas? You know, in the last race, you and I mm -hmm. were first and second. I'm just saying. I know. Pro gamers. No, we yeah. are. I think my chat needs to step it up a little bit because usually I'm getting demolished by them. I think they're deciding okay, to be nice okay. today. Yeah. Well, actually, there's this one. He, he's not here right now. He's a mod named Jen. And every Jen. single time he hops in a race, he wins by a landslide. Oh, it's dude. insane. He sees through the Mario Kart. He is so I know people cracked. Like that. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I didn't even yep. know it was possible to be that good at this game. Okay, okay. But this guy is. He's on another level. Uh, Josie, I'm so curious about how good you are at Smash. I, it, it, I am so curious because I feel like I'm pretty much as good as somebody can be before they cross the threshold and they become extremely nasty. I think I'm, I think I'm about right that same. I, I'm like, I'm like really good casually. And if people don't uh -huh. know it super well, like I'm really good. Mm. But like, I'm not, I don't, I, I like if I played like a com against a competitive person, like I would lose mm -hmm. 100%. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, totally. They're, I mean, they're, you know, Living on another planet. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, that's their whole thing. <gasps> um, what? I feel like I don't have enough patience to get that good at like a specific game like that, mm. where it would just like the most minuscule thing like really matters to change up. Uh, see, I I will say I I have a love for fighting games. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. I do now, too. Like I really yeah. like I really like Tekken. Yeah. Right. Um. And and I do really like Smash, but I don't know. I'm just. It it's a lot. It's like it's like playing an instrument. You gotta practice. You gotta, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's crazy. And I feel like there's always so much to play. Yeah, there is. So I like I like don't really want to like just igno yeah. ignore everything and. You're everything you're not ready to settle down and be monogamous yet no, with no, the game. No, I need to, I need right, I, I need to go it. on a couple days. I, figure out, of course, figure exactly, out what, dude. What I like. You're you're curious. You're like, well, I don't know what else is out there. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, no, I get. It. Oh man, now. Are you aware that the big wrestling event happened this weekend? Oh, uh, yes, I am. Okay. Now, I live in the city where that event happened. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, all week, it's been, you know, the wrestling mania yes. has taken over people's minds. So, are you a big wrestler? Wrestle, wrestling Oh, no, not fan? at all. I, I, I don't... No, no, no. no. My, my best friend in college loved wrestling, though. And I remember we were watching wrestling together, and I picked out one guy, and I said, Pat, that's my, that's my favorite guy. And it was a guy named Stardust. Okay. And he would come out, he would come out, and he'd go, Stardust. And I thought that that was awesome. <laughs> and Josie, believe it or not, that guy in 2024, I'm talking 2013, in 2024, that guy's like the main character of wrestling. Oh. Yeah. He had a rebrand or something, but he's different now. And now he's the guy. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I, what I'm saying is, I saw it coming from a mile away. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, RG says, so sometimes it's from a viral vid, though. One random thing will pop off and they get a bunch of views and subs. But yeah, that's true. Um, like, it's like some video will just like absolutely go ridiculous, but it has nothing to do with the rest of their channel. I've seen oh, that cool. a few times, too. But like nice. nobody's interested in anything else. So they watch that one thing and, and none of the other content. Wow, that must drive the person nuts. Dude. I know. I feel like I would be sort of broken about it. I yeah. <laughs> you just what is happening in our gold. Nintendo group chat, RGT? This is so, so crazy. My phone is like, will not stop buzzing. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> it's a hype for the 15K. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not like... So the only wrestling I've ever seen was very recently. I watched a wrestling match of Logan Paul and the main wrestling <laughs> guy because yeah. he's because so Logan Paul is in the AEW now or something, which sure. I think is super funny. And I like, you know, I know who Logan Paul is, so I was like, sure, yeah, I'll yeah. watch Logan Paul in this. It's funny. Um, but it was very, it was just so performative, and I think it's cool. Um, yeah. I just don't think I would necessarily choose to. To get super invested in it. Mm, mm, mm. 
Everybody's like, I it's like, like it a soap a, opera for dudes, kind of. He, yeah, a hundred percent. As as like a theater guy, I appreciate it because I'm like, oh yeah, I see what's going on here. You're doing, you're doing sports theater. Yeah. Yeah, which yeah, so I understand. I wish it went further though. I wish it was like a little goofier, and I understand that's not what America wants. But like, if I was running it, I would have a guy who's like, oh no, Mister Hypnosis has entered the ring. He's making everybody fall asleep. Like, I would love that. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like I think so I really like watching sports but I like I like I really like watching sports and so I think just Ooh, the fact wait, what's that your it's sport? fake ish yeah. um, I like basketball I watch basketball okay. a lot wait I what's like your team the Warriors <sighs> well I must, must be nice it is pretty nice <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm from like Northern California originally so yeah so that's just that's what it is and then i like the giants for baseball um okay and yeah, sure the 49ers for football i don't really watch football that much unless it's like mm -hmm. insane mm -hmm. um i got really into watching just like boxing i kind of like i think it's really interesting oh nice um yeah i don't know i just watch cool. watch all those kind of stuff but i just i think the idea that wrestling is fake like messes with me so mm -hmm. i'm like i'm mm -hmm. like oh, i don't like that yeah. I don't know. Um, the problem of a lot. Wait, wait, wait. The problem is a lot of people who watch shorts don't care the longer form content, but it seems to do well. Which is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I realize that. Every time I get like a, a, a short that'll pop off, then people will comment on the other shorts, but nobody really goes over to long form, is what I've noticed. Oh, dude, I mean, shorts were crazy at Game Explain. Like, you know, for, oh, a, yeah. for a channel that has, like, you know, for a channel that has that many subscribers but doesn't get, like, quite the amount of engagement you would guess guess at that many subscribers. Like, yeah. I made I made dozens of shorts that did multi-millions in the views, you know? Yeah. And it was like, I, yeah, I don't know. I guess that stuff's just getting pushed out. And it would get pushed out for, like, months. It would just keep doing, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, shorts are, shorts are ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, but like nobody people are subscribed but not a lot of people come over which is kind of lame. Right. Right, right, right. Um Yeah. I know. Whoa, Yacht Club Games is in the chat which means Celia's here. What's up? How's it going? Um You know Yacht Club Games, Jake? Oh, of course. We're talking uh, we're talking uh, Shovel Knight. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What's what's the current hotness with old yacht club games? What's well, the what's the, what is it right now? They're working on Mina the Hollower currently, which seems to okay. be really cool. Um, yeah, yeah. That's what's coming next. Yeah, and then, cool. and then they've had all that shovel knight stuff. To be, I have, I have never played shovel knight. I I feel like yeah, a yeah. loser. Like I really have to get on that because I think it's such a good game. Like it looks like such a good game, but. Oh yeah, great time, Josie. Also, and I don't even—I gotta tell you—we were we were talking about this on my channel. I don't really love 2D platformers. Love Shovel Knight. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was uh, cause you know what I like? I like the uh, from like the old Ducktales game, how the guy had the cane. It was kind of like that for me with the shovel. But um, I remember I played Shovel Knight maybe for the first time on my PlayStation Vita, and I don't know if this is even still in the game, but there was like a God of War crossover level you could do. And you like fought Kratos or something. Whoa. And you could unlock like, yeah, yeah. You could unlock like a cool, like shovel nighty, nighty, like, like outfit for your shovel knight. That was like all God of War themed. It was, it was lit. I was really into it. I was Jeez, really into it. That's really cool. Yeah. I'll spam yeah. you with keys. I got you. Please, Celia, please. I will literally play it on stream the whole thing. Yes. I just, I, I, I want to check it out. I've never actually played shovel knight, but definitely should. D-Man, we're in the same squad. You, you gotta, you gotta check it out. It's Duck's Tales mixed with Mega Man with a better story. Okay. Mmm, nice. Do you think, is that an accurate depiction, Jake? Think? I think Mega Man is way harder. I always have thought that Mega Man is like, you need to see into the Matrix a little bit to play Mega Man well. Mm. Um, oh, Jakob Games with the real info here. All the PlayStation versions have it. Xbox has Battletoads. Wow. That's okay. super cool. Ooh. Man, that's neat. That is, wow. But see, out. it left such an impression, Josie, that I remember this. I, yeah. I remember. Yeah, you literally fight Kratos. Yeah, no, it was so cool. I was, no, I was all about that. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty rad. 
Yeah. Chad, if you guys are liking the vibes between Celia, RGT, and I, by the way, we have a podcast. Check that out. Exclamation point podcast in the chat. You can go subscribe to the channel. It's really cool. Dang, all those little quick functions, Josie. Oh, yeah. The pro level. Oh, That's yeah. so sick. It's, it's like the bot. Yeah, it's a stream, Streamlabs. Streamlabs bot. It's like See, super cool. See, I've been telling myself I got to start using Streamlabs. I'm just using old plain uh, naked OBS over there. So I use OBS, but then I just use all the elements of Streamlabs because OBS, I think, is better. But Oh, you can do that? Yeah, you can just like huh. allow the Streamlabs bot to have control over your YouTube channel, which means it just like will will put in oh, all that stuff. Neat. Um, neat, neat, neat. Yeah. What does the Nintendo versions have? That's a good question. Does the Nintendo have? I'm too. Go wow, we got the whole game and talk squad here. Nate the Hate is in here too. Wow, Chad, if you what? guys are out here freaking out that Nate the Hate isn't on the Spawncast anymore, I'm just saying you should really check out Game and Talk. Game and Talk Pod. It's pretty cool. Ah, oh, there's been there's been marriages and divorces between. The yeah, there's podcasts. a lot of lore. There's a lot of lore. Oh, guys. Yeah. There's so okay. much lore. Yeah. Uh, see, here's the thing. There might not be any Shovel Knight exclusive content on the Nintendo consoles, but what I can tell you is Shovel Knight is in Smash Brothers. So really, right. who who really won yeah, at true. the end of the day? That's yeah. very true. Man. Oh, no. Tar. <laughs> what are you saying? Um, where am I going? How did I? I went the wrong way? What? Did you see that? I just started going the exact wrong way. Wow, Josie. I really... Learn how to read. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just a girl, so it's fine. Yeah, dude, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, me and, me and Tio have been... We have a rivalry. We have a rivalry in Mario Kart, I can tell. It's, it's unspoken. Shit. But, like, my Wario is looking over at him every time they pass, and he's like, dude, I know you got ideas, Tio. <laughs> yeah. I cannot believe I was literally in like third slash second and then I just started going backwards <laughs> for no reason, which is awesome. Okay, we're back, we're back. No, Josie, right you ever played Diddy Kong Racing? Yes, I love Diddy Kong Racing. I think that's the oh, best game on the N64. Fantastic. Yes, okay, awesome. I always, always wish we had some of that. Some I know. Of that, uh, I feel like we gotta bring that back. Mario Kart. Yeah. Or like bring the series back if you don't want to give us a, a story mode thing like that. That was so rad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, just just like going around like a big hub world, like a big environment yes. in the car. A great idea, great stuff. Man, I'm getting jacked up back here. Yeah, I don't know. This is not my map at all. Um, um. Oh my god. Usually when I play with my chat, there is one race that I will get first. A single race. That's usually I mean, you got it earlier, didn't you? Exactly, so that's what I'm saying. We're done. Oh, uh, okay. First. <laughs> oh, I was coming in so Never. hot. I almost claimed it. How? I'm just getting destroyed over here now. No. Wow. Oh, yeah. Games in the chat says Pipsy is elite. That is the the little mouse in Diddy Kong Racing, I believe. God, those characters, I love those guys. Yeah. I always liked the uh, TT the time clock, dude. That was my guy. John lost his vision looking at the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no more spawn cast. That's what that means. Hey, you don't need eyes to record a podcast. That's true, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but how is he gonna press record? <laughs> We'll she tell him. We'll tell him when. Yeah, that's true. Keep clicking. Yeah. She owns the Rainbow Roads. That's true. I'm pretty good at Rainbow Road. That's about it. All right. Nice. That's about it. Um, what's up, Catsy? I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at saying names in chat because I feel like it's like I never know how to actually pronounce them. So that's that's my B. It's, it's tough. That's my B. Do you think Ooh. Furukawa is here? What does that mean? For Kawa, Nintendo, the the yeah, the I believe guy. the current the current president. Do you think he's what what does here mean? Like in this chat? Like watching the stream? Yeah. Do you think he's a lurker? If he is, hey, Nintendo ambassador program, right here. I'll Listen, do it. Listen, he's definitely, you know, like has Sakurai never watched a YouTube stream? 
Hmm. You know what I mean? That's a good question. Like, Miyamoto has seen a stream. For sure. He's seen, he's seen one. But you know they, what I they mean? watch like, yeah. they watch like definitely like the Ludwigs and like the top, 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 right? Are you sure? Why would they be watching little us, you know? I mean, cause, cause they're hyped you got 15K. <laughs> they're so excited for you know? me. They're so... Yeah, cause they, <laughs> they don't forget what it's like, you know? <laughs> they're like, oh my God, wow, this is so, so exciting exactly. for her. <laughs> Do you think Furukawa right now is like sitting at his desk sweating? Yeah. Because he's like, how do they know? <laughs> or even better, Furukawa actually is the one that put that in chat. Whoa. Yeah. That's that's pretty meta. Oh, did oh, I hit no. you with that? That was my green Yes, you did, dude. Oh my god, it came out of nowhere. I bounced it off the wall. Right, I'm, I'm getting revenge, Josie. I'm... There you go. Fake. All right. He's a big Josie I'm... Woe fan. I don't know if he is. Why? Why? What do you have against Furukawa? I just think I just think Furukawa, his whole life is video games. Why are you watching video game content? He probably watches right. like. First off, his whole life, Josie, is his wife and children, and then it's video games. Don't assume <laughs> Furukawa's life is video games. But like that's what he does for a living. Sure, sure, but it's 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 wife and children, video games, and then number three is Josie. Wa. <laughs> <laughs> Who's out here making video games and then watching more content on them? He, dude, it's, he just loves the channel so much. He's so <laughs> invested. He's been here since 100 subs. He's like... <laughs> yeah. He knows all the lore about the podcast. He knows all of it. <laughs> he wants Nate to come back really bad to this podcast. Dude, he's desperate. He's desperate. <laughs> yeah. He's creating alts. He's doing all of it. <laughs> Yikes. Man, I would not want Miyamoto in the chat, I gotta say. I feel like he'd be a backseat gamer. <laughs> I feel like he'd be like, Jake, you're, you're playing it wrong. Like, damn. Probably. He's right. Miyamoto knows. Josie host Game and Talk again? You gotta ask RGT. Nintendo watched my Metroid Dread vid. Really? Was yours positive, RGT? Wait, Josie, do you not host the podcast? Um, usually RGT, like like sort of host it and says everything and then yesterday i see i see or not yesterday but the other day he was like you're hosting it and i was like okay oh but i think i did a pretty good job so yeah i'm down to do it again okay but i had to i had to like thank all the patrons and introduce all the topics but i forgot to introduce all of our panel members which is pretty <laughs> basic but i don't know i was i was thrown in there you know yeah, yeah. Um, I think my favorite part of, of host duties is asking the questions, you know? Mm -hmm. Kick off the conversation. You you create the angle, you know? You decide who gets the first word, who sets the tone. That's yeah. a lot of power. That is a lot. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I just, I think I'm worried personally that the power is just going to go right to my head. Okay. I'm quitting sure. Game & Talk effective immediately. What? No. Nate. How are we going to get the, the inside scoop? Nobody's going to watch the podcast anymore. <laughs> oh, no. They all watch it because Nate drops hints. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, I'm loving these toads with the snorkels on in this level. <laughs> That's nice. This is kind of a cool... I don't. I feel like I don't I play this maybe when it first came out. Yeah, no, I'm having the sense. same experience right now where I'm like, what the heck is this? What yeah. the heck? <laughs> no, it's really reminding right. me of a level I'm in in Dragon's Dogma right now. <laughs> Yeah. Are you play how is that game? Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm I'm a Dragon's Dogma sicko though. I like loved the first one and okay. was very was I've been like very loud about that for the past like eight years or whatever. So, oh, so you uh, got your wish though, that's good. Oh I got my wish. It's like I got all the Dragon Balls and it, it happened, dude, dude. <laughs> Wild, yeah. Oh, you hit me with your banana. <laughs> Dang it. Um RGC says that Nintendo copy tried to copyright strike his his Metroid vet video. That's insane. What? what? What did you say? That sounds bogus. Fight it. Fight the power. <laughs> Send the email. That's really Tell crazy. Tell Furukawa to shove it, dude. That's <laughs> really crazy. I can't imagine. Yeah, that stinks. It's so weird, too, because it's like... What? Whose job is it to be like the YouTube police yeah. at Nintendo? And like, what do they do? Do they just click around a website all day and go, "I think I'll, I think I'll report this to YouTube"? <laughs> I you think know? I'll it's ruin like, this guy's job. 
Who's like, it's so weird to me. It's such, you know. Yeah. But in case Furukawa is listening, I would love to have that job. So please, <laughs> you know, let me know. Looking let me know what I need to do. Yeah. Ah, man, I, would I be a cop though? Maybe. Ugh. <laughs> That's tough. It's tough. A Nintendo cop? It's right on the border of acceptable. <laughs> <It's right laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever be a content cop. They like, they go pretty hard on some of them. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you know who Point Crow is, but he. No. He. Uh, Point Crow? What does that mean? I have no idea, but. Oh, okay. He's just like, a name. Yeah, it's just his mm. YouTube handle mm. thing. Okay. Um, he's mostly like a streamer guy, but. Yeah. He makes like videos where he like mods like Breath of the Wild and all that stuff. Oh, sick. It's really cool, but I mean, mm. obviously. It's not Nintendo. Oh, favorite, sure, sure. So yeah, totally. It kind of kind of upsets them at times. <laughs> Dang, six places, six places bad. And yes, they actually do. They have a big legal department. That's brutal. I'd gotten oh, man, an early copper cool. copy from mom and pop shop. Waited till mm -hmm. well after the mm -hmm. embargo and put the vid up. They tried to take it down, but YouTube sided with me because I fought it. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you, Super Miguel. Appreciate it. Man, I loved uh, I loved when I lived in uh, I used to live in the East Village in New York City, mm -hmm. and there was uh, there was like a little video game shop there that everybody knows about that would always put stuff out days early. Oh, that's so awesome. nice, dude. So nice. Yeah. I know a guy who works at the GameStop by me, and I just keep trying to get nice. him to give. I'm like really trying to work on it for him to wow for him to just give me these games, and he's like, I'm gonna get fired. And I was like, nobody needs to know. Yeah, yeah. Nobody needs to know. I won't say anything. Man, I'm just thinking about Nintendo's legal department. My my older brother is a lawyer for the IRS, so I feel like I get to see, you know, the inner cogs of like a massive legal system. Yeah. Oh. Like, but it, yeah, it's crazy. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice because I have somebody to do my taxes for me every year, you know? Yeah, that's cool. My aunt's an accountant, <laughs> yeah. and she's like, I'll do your taxes. And there I was you like, go. Excellent. Yeah, that rules. Mm -hmm. um, congrats on 15K, Josie. Thank you, Celia. Appreciate it. We out here. I you said 50 for a second, and I was like, Josie. 50K, baby. <laughs> yeah, that'd it be happened in, so fast. That'd be insane. <laughs> oh, man. When do you think people go full time with YouTube? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea how it works. I, I gotta tell you, even while I was working at Game Explain, the they, they, I know that like, he, the my boss like messed with the settings or whatever. So like, even though I was in the back end, I like couldn't see how much money we were making. Uh -huh. But I, I genuinely, I never really looked into it. I have no idea. I don't know what the calculation is. Um, my my impression is that it's less than I think. It's to do well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't... You're getting there, right? You're getting there. Yeah, sure. Because growth is exponential, you know? Yeah. Well, 15K yeah, what, happened you, yeah. a lot faster than exactly. everything else, for sure. Yeah. And yeah. I'm sure, like, the you'll hit 20K way faster than you went from 10 to 15. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know how any of that works. Yeah. Ah. It's like people ask me about like, you know, since I do, since all my work is typically like writing, it's mm -hmm. like, how do you decide what your rate is for somebody? Oh yeah. And it's, you know, and that's like always the funniest conversation. And I go, listen, I size them up based <laughs> on how much money I think they have. Yeah. And then, because you know, like when I write something for Warner Brothers, I just name the craziest number I can think of and they write me a check because they don't know. Yeah. You know, they don't, they don't care. They're yeah. like, oh, this little idiot, give him what it, give him what he asked for, you know? And it's over. It's over. <laughs> That's kind of good. Oh, man. Oh, no, it's fantastic. Because yeah. whatever they're giving me is a pittance. Right. Yeah, like big yeah. companies like that, it's just, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, no, it's lovely. drop in the bucket. Yeah. No. But it's like I'm doing some little company's copywriting, and it's like, all right, yeah. Now we got to change it. Man, I sucked on that match. God. I did worse than I thought I would. I thought I had first in the bag. Enough vertical streams, it's possible. That's true. Vertical streams could kill it. That's <laughs> nice. True. But I'd have a bunch of meaningless subscribers. Just people who just don't care. Because that's what happens. They like to see the number go up, and then they just, like, 
it's pretty much over. Like, there's a little bit of crossover sometimes if they stick around long enough, but not really. Yeah. Um, a million views is a thousand bucks. That can't be true. That seems low. Yeah, that's is that what you think it is? That, that's not true. There's actually Man. no. There's no way, because then Mr. Beast wouldn't get paid enough to make his ridiculous video. MVG! Yeah, point, Jesus! Thank you for the $50. Don't go full-time unless you get consistent views. It's all about views, not the sub. Congrats on 15k. Thank you, MVG. Nice. I'm not out here trying to go full-time anytime soon. I was just curious. Shut up, MVG. What do you mean, Nate? This is why he's not going to come back on the podcast. Because of you the lore it gets deep yeah i'm not i'm not yeah i'm not trying to go but i was just curious like when people when people do because i know there's some channels yeah. that that went full-time at like 100k subs but their views are not there so they can't really you know keep up sure, with that sure yeah i think it's about i think it's about having a locked in audience you know yeah definitely i think it also is like so, you know, you got to balance it with whatever's going on in your life. Because right now, it's like, like you don't have a full-time job, do you? I'm a nanny. It's like a part-time job. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Because I, mm. I imagine, you know, as responsibilities compound, that plays a role. It's like, okay. Yeah. I If I go full-time, I got to be really sure. Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. If I have, like, kids or something. Exactly. But not for 10 years, for sure. 10 years, that's the number? I think so. I feel like I gotta have okay. a fun 20s. Maybe okay. eight. Maybe eight. Sure. But a while. Oh, no. RJ is crazy good. You guys gotta chill. So I'm I'm getting married this year in September. Oh yeah. What's my Congrats. what's my what what's my timeline? How many how many years until I have my first child? Place your bets, chat. The winner will win. No. <laughs> the winner will get a free <laughs> Nintendo Switch game. No, you get to name my first kid. Don't you go if you, you... until you get consistent <laughs> views. That's it's wild. about the views, yeah. not the subs. Grant I'll name it after your, after somebody in chat. So you know <laughs> you you have a baby and then it's like all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. I have to name him RGT85. Yeah, because that's the most dystopian YouTube thing in the world. That's like all the YouTube family channels. They're like, I'm pregnant. Highest dono gets to name the kid. <laughs> oh, man. Where's your... Are you, like, excited for your for your wedding and all that? When's that? Oh, of course, dude. Of course. Well, first off, you know, shout out. Love of my life. Oh, my God. Couldn't live without her. I love yeah. her so much. Um... But uh, yeah, we're uh, so so. I think this is kind of neat. We're getting married uh, at her childhood home. Nice. And so, like, her parents live there, and it's um, mm. it'll be on her parents' anniversary. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So we we locked it in, and uh, you know what was fun, Josie? The other day we went out to our caterer hosted an event of like a tasting, so you get to try all the stuff and decide what your menu is gonna be. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that was a good time. That's yeah. I've only I've seen that in, in uh, when Kim Kardashian did that for her. Oh, <laughs> yeah, me and her, we're we're the same. The same, yeah. Yeah. That's really uh, fun. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's funny, Josie. I just did a little I just did a little work with a hot sauce company that earlier this year Kim Kardashian bought. Whoa. She bought it. That is wild. Yeah. Right. Wow. So, yeah. That's awesome. I don't know what, you know, I don't know if it, if, it, if that means anything. Oh, it means a lot. That's pretty rad. It, it was in the, it, they talked about it in the New York Times. So it's kind of weird. Wow. But yeah, you know, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, wedding, a lot of planning, a lot of, I've got like a hotel that's like dodging my calls right now. And I'm trying to get that wedding block and they won't return my calls. Lame. Lame. Yeah, but yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. We're making it very, uh making it very personal to our tastes what we want out of a wedding you know yeah, you have to sit like down what you gotta do that's what you gotta do yeah you gotta ask yourself like what does getting married even mean to us and then you go from there wow that's pretty deep well because it's such a it's such a con you know what i mean it's like it's such a it's such a capitalistic complex at this point yeah. that you know, you it's it's hard to just be like, all right, I guess I'm just spending a million dollars to throw a party because that's what we all do. Yikes, yeah, that's true. 
yeah. in my head, my wedding right now would just be a huge, huge college party. I'd just like, it'd just be, it'd just be yeah, like a sure. big frat party. But but I don't I know I'm not gonna want that in a couple of years. But maybe I listen. Maybe sometimes I've been to a couple of those and they're not a bad time. Like I'm thinking, like we get married and afterwards we just shotgun and then we. Yeah. We yeah. Listen. Home. I mean, I went to a wedding kind of recently where the food was you made your own tacos and Josie, it was so good. Yeah, that seemed cool. It had me questioning everything. I was like, <laughs> is this what we should all do? <laughs> I, it was delicious. That's funny. Yeah. I like, I like being this age and going to a bunch of weddings, though. It's kind of fun. That seems so fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah it's nice. It's, it reminds me of being uh, 13 and everybody was having their bar mitzvah. Oh, yeah. but, now, <laughs> but now we can drink. Yeah, exactly. So it's a lot more <laughs> <You know>. fun. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We have... It's always funny. So I'm from a really small town and all the people yeah. there are, like, marrying each other. If you stay in that yes. town, you just marry the, each other, like, right after high school, which is insane to me. And mm -hmm. half of them already mm -hmm. have kids, and they're my age. Yep. Which is, like, really just, especially after this whole nanny thing, just seems horrendous to me. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, I love this kid, too. He's great. Really, we're yeah. buddies. But it's just, it's so tiring. I can't imagine, like, that being our, my thing. Um, how, old's, how old's the kid? He's two. Okay, so so in fairness, you did get to you skipped the cuddly, wobbly I know, the baby super time. Cute, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get, which which gets you extremely attached. Yes. However, yeah. I've mm -hmm, experienced mm -hmm. the toddler time, which is insanity. Yeah, yeah, it is. And he's it a is. very sweet kid. He's very good. He's like, and he's nice. very tough. So it's actually yeah. pretty fun. But mm. still, just yeah. it's <laughs> just exhausting. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Can't imagine. Um, but yeah. What is your oh, time I love this like, part of the like, stage on ice? Wait, yeah. What is your like? Like, what are you thinking timeline wise? Like, kid wise? You know, when I met my girlfriend on one of our my my girlfriend now fiance, we uh, we on like our second or third date, we were sitting at a a restaurant having breakfast, and we wrote down on a napkin our life plan when we were gonna get married, when we were gonna have wow. kids, all that kind of stuff. And I know, Josie, I know. This is like weeks, weeks into our relationship. Not even, maybe a week into our relationship. And so <laughs> far, so far we've been on, we have been following that napkin. Wow. So, yeah. So, you know, when you know, you know, and all that. Yeah. But, um, but it's funny. The kids thing is funny. I think we, I think right now it's, it's still super theoretical, but we like talking about, you know, a lot of our friends are having kids. We like huh. talking about names we like. That's yeah. as far as it goes right now. And. Okay. When we get married, we're actually both going to change our last name. Oh. Yeah, we're both, we're, we're going to combine. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, sh so I don't know if I should say her last name, but. Are you going like, to like hyphenate so it? Or like, like. A, no, just no, a no. So like, new... my name is, my name is Steinberg and her name ends in heart. So mm -hmm. we're going to be Steinhart. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're both going to switch. I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Yeah, you can write anything you want down and that can be your name it's like when you have a baby you can you don't have to give your baby your last name you can write anything on that piece of paper wow yeah yeah That's yeah I didn't, I didn't know that yeah yeah my mom worked in a hospital my whole life so she would she's a spanish english interpreter and uh, she would always tell me she's like people don't know you can write whatever you want and sometimes they do that's, I guess Elon did that. He named his yeah. kid like a bunch of numbers. Exactly. They can't stop you. Yeah. But you can <laughs> you can fuck up your kid that way. Like that's how you oh, get yeah. him bullied. So. Oh, listen, that kid was, there was no way out of bullying for that kid. That's true. Yeah. That's, that's true. dear God. Closest <laughs> thing to a, to a curse, I would say. Yeah. That's worse than an OnlyFans mom, I can imagine. Yeah, for real. Oh my God. I kind of like these these new DLC maps sometimes, like when they're mixed in with the other ones. I feel oh like yeah, a lot I love better. it. Better. Like if I played them, like when I would play them directly, like back to back, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, these aren't that great. But I think mixed in, they're a lot better. Oh yeah, I mean that's the strength of this game, though, right? It's the just the sheer quantity yeah. is re is really nice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you never feel like you're retreading because there's so many.
a real simple pleasure in Mario Kart is when you're like riding behind somebody and it gives you that little wind boost thing, whatever oh, yes. that's called. That is such a simple pleasure. It is delightful. It is very nice. And you just kind yeah. of whiz past them. Yep, 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 yep. What's your favorite Mario Kart game? Oh, um, I think it's got to be Double Dash, but I have yeah. a soft spot for DS. Okay, I like DS I have too. a soft spot. DS was like, you could play online. Yeah. It had, uh, it had like this mission mode kind of thing that you could do on your own. Yes, like really the story yes. thing. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was neat. I liked that. Uh, so that was cool. And I just felt like, I felt like DS was a little unhinged. Like you could get moving really fast in yeah. DS. Yeah. I was a big fan of DS too. I played that yeah, as yeah, like yeah. a very little kid. So I don't think I understood mm -hmm. how to play it. Cause I honestly, my only memory of it is like falling off the map all the time. Because yep, it was so yep, tiny, yep, yep. but. It's tough. They're all they were all good in the time they came out in. There was never a Mario Kart that came out, and when it came out, you were like, "Oh, this is a bummer." Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel like they're Except all. Except for maybe the G GBA one. Oh yeah, I hear that a lot. Yeah, it's not. It just doesn't have anything special going for it. I it feels think. kind of like the SNES one, but like spruced up a yes. little bit. Yes. 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 Um. What did Benny say? Uh. Da, 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 da. RGT. You know who's hosting Game and Talk? I'm not sure Josie can if she wants. I don't care. I'll host it again. I'll introduce everybody this time. I'll do it really, really solid. That way people can be like, can stop being mad at me. Who's this? Who's this bitch at the top? She doesn't even talk. She has no opinions. <laughs> Do people say that? All the time, bro. Dang. Half the, that's half the spawn cast comments. Who does this girl wow. think she... If I talk too much, though, they're like... Yes, which I, chatty. It's, it's not talking too much. It's literally just like... I feel like I have more to say on a thing. They're like, wow, I preferred her when she didn't talk. And then, like, the next thing, I'll, I'll, I won't have much to say on the topics. But I'll, like, I'll still add in my little two cents. Um, and they're like, wow, who, why is she even here? This girl has no opinions. I'm like, what are we, what are we doing, guys? I can't find a happy medium. There's no medium here. That's brutal. You can't please them all. It's just a bunch of, just a bunch of angry homies. It's a, it's a, a podcast is such a specific kind of thing to participate in too, because you really got to know when to participate and when to let, you know, when to take a back seat. Yeah. You got, you know, you got to really be on top of that for yourself. Um, and you have to like, yeah. let other people throw their opinions out there too. So it's of just course. like, I don't understand like the people who are like mad at me for not talking enough sometimes. Cause I'm like, well, mm. what if I don't have anything as insightful as everyone else to say on mm. this? Like, you know mm. what I'm saying? Or if somebody, somebody already said exactly what I was about to say, I'm like, well, cool. I agree with them. That's what I was well, going to say. Josie, when you're a man, what you have to say is doesn't need to be important. insightful. Yeah. No, it doesn't need to be. It's the fact that you have anything to say at all is worth celebrating. Yes. So it's, it's true. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's oh, a, God, the sh shy guys. It's always an interesting little battle. Well, I, and I think just like John's audience is so aggressive, like regardless. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They always get mad at someone every episode. They just pick someone new. So sometimes oh, nice. it's me, sometimes they're mad at MVG, sometimes they're mad at, uh, I don't know, anyone. A lot of times they're mad at OJ, they get mad at everybody. Okay, no I call that, them. uh, I, with my audience, I like to call that horny for battle. Yes. They're horny for battle, dude. They they're are, just thirsting they over there. Yeah, they're like, pick up your spears. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa. There's Guys, just, no. Like, there's just absolutely no way to <laughs> make everyone there happy. Yeah. Um, and, and the podcast is so, like, it's pretty, it's been around for so long and it's gone through so many uh -huh. different people. So every time people are just like, where's this guy? Where's mm. this guy? And it's like, well, you actually bullied them off the podcast. If you don't remember that. Oh my God. <laughs> are you talking like years it's been on? Yeah. It's been around for a long, long time. Like wow, I watched it when cool. I was a kid sometimes. So no way. Yeah. Wow. The rules. Yeah. The fun podcast cool didn't when I was a kid. <laughs> oh yeah. They were like just, <laughs> just getting started when I was a kid. Um, yeah. But I remember because, like, all of the dads at the school I went to were always like, we have to start a podcast, boys, like, all the time. Too. No like, way. Are you serious? Yeah, it was super funny. That is the funniest cultural <laughs> observation I've heard in a long time. It was really We have to start a podcast. The dads. It was. It was always super funny. But they were, like, super funny. So everyone was like, you look, you should, because they were all, like, really fun. So 
Wow, nice. I don't know what they would have talked about because they're all just dads, but probably would have been somewhat entertaining. Is the etymology of the term podcast because they used to be limited to like iTunes, so they would be on your iPod? Is that the? I think so. Is that what that is? Man, that's crazy. Yeah, because they had that podcast app, the Apple Podcast apps, and and you'd yeah. yeah. It was the only way. Yeah. yeah wow, that's wild. Yeah. Josie, you're talking too much right now. I'm sorry, Lucas. I'll lay off, man. I gotta, I gotta get myself under control. Lucas has been making me laugh in the chat. Actually, <laughs> they funny. said something earlier. <laughs> then he goes, "Did bro just call drafting little wind?" I was like, <laughs> 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 oh man, That's heck yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go up to two hundo, chat. I think we can handle it, and we'll kick it Whoa. up to, to eight races. This is my favorite. This is I'm actually much better at two hundred than I am at anything else. Oh my god. John is the biggest gaslighter. John. <laughs> For real. Um, mm, 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 mm. It's just because it's in a small room. A pod? No way. No way. It's because, be like, lying. that's got to be a lie. Because then that would apply to, like, radio shows as well. Well, and some podcasts aren't in small rooms. Sometimes they're, like, that's huge true. productions now. So th we can't even yeah. call those podcasts. Yeah. Um, oh, God. I remember when you, your premiere on Spawncast, it was wild. Yeah, that was crazy. I gained like a thousand and like 300 subs and I had just hit, I had spent a year trying to get to a thousand subs and then I went on the podcast and just, it was just funny because I was like, oh wow, <laughs> that was quite the growth. Josie, I got one for you. Hmm. Never did I gain more Twitter followers than when I quit Game Explain and I was like, Damn, you guys care about this a lot more than yes. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Twitter's a horrible place. I just like God. I I like can't go on Twitter very much. I like go on to make sure I'm like not missing anything huge from Nintendo. Right. And then I leave. Oh god. Every it's it's 200 CC. No. What? You got to use the brain. How do you How do you do? Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of complicated, but yeah. Once you get once you get it down, you can do that. You can do like really good shortcuts and stuff with all all the 200 CC mm. stuff. It's pretty rad. I've gotten this is like my favorite way to play this game, but nobody else likes to do it. So oh, cool. You know what I really appreciate in this game? A little a little pleasure. Um, the ability to set it so that your gas is just always accelerating. Oh, yeah, and you yeah. don't have to you, yeah you don't have to hold the a button yeah. oh, that's a that's not anyway, I, I appreciate that yeah that that they have some like pretty good accessibility features in this one I'd say. yeah the antenna dude yeah lifesaver yeah it's, pretty, it's really nice for like when you're introducing this game to new people too mmm because like, I mean we, yeah then it yeah anybody can play it yeah because we played a lot like uh, know, just my friends in like college and stuff we played all the time um, hmm. And it's it's nice because anyone can really jump in real quick, right? And grasp it, um, firmly grasp it. Yes. Do you know that reference, Josie? No. Oh. What's oh, it from? Man, what a bummer! SpongeBob. I watched SpongeBob. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. <laughs> so he's trying to undo a pickle jar, I think. Oh yes, and he's like, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That animation. Brutal is so disgusting when it's like close up on his face and he's like <laughs> <laughs> oh man Josie did you cry nights night two of Wrestlemania I was in I was in shambles really it was it was uh yeah we were we were talking about it earlier it was yeah. the the night of the year for you really yeah it was uh yeah it was, it was really eventful yep a lot happened uh, yeah, Twitter has a lot of people who talk shit about others who would never even think the same. It's cancer. Yeah. Well, that's how everything is. All of them are like, like even YouTube, like all these people who are like attacking me. I'm like, could you, would you ever say this to me in real life? Nor. Like, it's kind of crazy. It's funny too, because then there's the extra layer of like, like we are public on Twitter, you know, but then there's like the anonymous people already like already anonymous over the internet become even more anonymous and yeah. there's like layers of power there 
Jake, it wasn't the pickle jar. It was when he shoved the net in Squidward's hand. Oh my God, D-Man Gaming, you're right. Squidward has been injured and he's like in a full body cast and he's, stu and he's giving him the jellyfish <laughs> yes. net. Yes, I remember now. Thank you, D-Man Gaming. The important stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, I forgot. You can't take that short. That, that was ramps on 200cc. I just discovered thing? the hard way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you like just actually can't. It's pretty horrible. Yeah. Oh my god. This map on 200cc is disgusting. I like really don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like Twitter's just kind of obnoxious. I feel like a lot of like... Uh, I don't know, there's just a lot of controversy there that like doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah, matter. so the thing I like about it is that like like almost every platform on the internet it's like a tool so you see it used poorly and you see it used well and yeah. oh i tried to take the ramp again so like there was a time when it's it's kind of lost this power but it was kind of a like a uh, boots on the ground democratized a little bit of like uh you know it was the first time in american culture where we could be dropping bombs on another country and we could see live tweets from the people in that country as we were doing it and that's crazy. Yeah. There's never been a platform before where you could do that. Um, but now, because of the way the platform is run, it's like losing a little bit of that. Yeah. That power, and now it's kind of that's kind of going over to like TikTok, I think. Oh um, yeah, TikToks is obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's it tough. Is. I think. Yeah. Please. Uh, I just think it's like. Uh... I think it's because Elon is an idiot, and I think he runs it horribly, so I don't think that's going to be Of course. Issue. Yeah, there's this great essay about the enshittification of online platforms <laughs> uh, online, and it talks about how, like, over time, it's like, oh, first an online platform serves its people, and then it serves its advertisers, and then it serves these people. Like, this is how a platform dies. And you're kind of seeing that happen live now with a lot of different platforms, Twitter especially. Yeah, for sure. My camera just overheated. Oh no! It's okay, chat. We can go to the shitty camera that I have. Um, let me see if it wants to do that. I don't think it does. Chat is chat is pretending that it's my channel that's at 15k. And chat, I know that's not the case because, as I have always said, the second we reach 3k, I'm deleting the channel. That's so insane. It's, it's too much. It's too so much. So truly wild. <laughs> oh, man. Jazzy, whoa, your cam. I know. Guys, I don't... I don't know why it does yeah, this. Yeah, it's, it's literally just uh, celebrating 15k and all you see on the screen is me, dude. <laughs> what a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Jazzy, oh, congrats on 15k. Thank you, Brayden. Aw. Thank you, thank you. Um... <laughs> This is uh, this is excellent. I don't know, I don't know why it has this issue with. Over Sometimes it's like because there's an audio thing plugged in. Oh sure. So let me see. Maybe that'll fix it itself. Hello. Hypothetically, we're back. It's funny. You're you're back on my Discord, but I'm waiting for. I need the stream to catch up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Amateur hour over here? Listen, MVG, we're at 15k subs, not 50k. I can I can screw around until I have like 100k, I feel like, you know? It gives a certain level of charm to the fact that I just don't really know what's going on. I do love the safety of a fledgling channel, you know? Exactly. Nobody expects yeah, anything ridiculous from exact, you. Yep, 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 yep. It's just, it's just chill. Sometimes I tell people I'm like, 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 uh, I'll be streaming, and I'll be like, yeah, I'm just a small YouTuber, you know, I don't know what to tell you. And they're like, you're not small. I'm like, yes, 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 yeah, I am. I feel like... Yeah, it's it's funny, though, but, like, as a normal person, if somebody were to meet you and you were to say that, this is incredible. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of my... Do you, do you, how does that conversation go at school? What's I, that like with normal people? I don't tell people. I usually don't tell people. You don't tell people. And okay. then, but sometimes they, like, find out, or they, like... Yeah. Uh, some of my friends know, so they'll like mention stuff, or they'll be like, "Where were you?" And I'll be like, "Oh, I was doing this or whatever for this thing." And they're all like, "Oh, that's pretty mm. cool." Usually that's how it goes. 
Um, a lot of them okay. are film majors, so they're like, oh, that's, like, smart. Like, that's a good way to practice what you're learning. I'm like, exactly. If you, sure, if you say so. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel, uh, like, I feel like out here hmm. advertising, like, or just telling people that I do it is kind of weird to me. Yeah, I, yeah. In real life, online, it's okay. In real life, it is a, it is a vibe. Yeah. 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 Sean does nothing right. No one cares if 500 k subs. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. I love Sean's terrible editing. <laughs> he has an editor. Whoa! Oh my god! Unintentional savage dish. Uh, Perez, Robert, Roberto. I feel like you sub resubscribe every time I stream. But thank you for subbing. I appreciate it. I always get this, so I get these little alerts that pop yeah. up when somebody subscribes and i always feel like oh, nice. i see i see that but maybe it's maybe there's a lot of robertos i don't know Josie, what do you make your thumbnails in canva oh dude i was literally just gonna ask if you use canva it's so canva chill. is a it is a powerful tool dude it is so chill and it's just so yeah. like it's you don't have to buy it it's like just so chill insane yeah. It's so much easier to use than than Photoshop. Yes, it's literally dude. like the it is the craziest like jump in accessibility in that kind of software it's so ever. Intuitive. It's insane. It's just easy. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not out here like making insane thumbnails. I just kind of throw the game on it and take the background out sometimes. And you know. oh yeah, I mean I know full on professional graphics people and they use Canva and I'm like dog. That is not fair. Yeah. You are che you are cheating. You are. <laughs> you are. I know. Oh, man. It's a. That's a good. Is that what do you use? I use Photoshop, but that's just because when I started at Game Explain, uh, there was like the thumbnail guy there, Tom. Yeah. And I was like, and I was like, Tom, I'm. There, there reached a point there where I kind of felt like I, I kind of hit the ceiling and was not developing as a professional, if you will. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, Tom, I need to learn something new. So can you teach me how to use Photoshop? Okay. And, and that, so that was like kind of a, it kind of kept me entertained for a while, you know? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Photoshop is super powerful. I mean, there's like, you can do a lot more with it for sure. Oh yeah. But, but like sometimes I, I will throw things into Canva just to like, I don't know, just to, like arrange them a little bit better or something. Yeah. It's like sometimes you make something in Photoshop, you throw it into Canva. It's, it's nice. And it's like quick too. So quick. Oh man. Like I like I like making like my live thumbnails with Canva. They're like super mm. easy. But honestly, my live thumbnails have just like stopped trying quite as hard because I realized that it like uh I don't know. I, it like stopped me from streaming a lot. Really? Yeah, because I like. I yeah. would want to take like a bunch of thumbnail pictures because I have myself in every single one of my thumbnails, which I like yeah. doing because it creates mm -hmm. a good brand imagey thing, right? Sure, um, sure. But it just got to be a lot, I guess. To yeah, because you you find you're like reusing the same. Yeah, and I don't jo like Josie's, and I yeah. don't like to do that. Like yeah, I I totally get that. So I uh, now I just kind of take a screenshot of OBS usually, and then I fix the colors and switch it around. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's the easiest, I think. Um, that's... Josie, since you are hosting Game & Talk again, talk about the best and worst Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. Maybe. I don't know. We've got, like, a few ideas, but if we run out, I got you. What does that mean, exactly? Uh, like, ideas? Like, best, best and worst... If Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, does that mean something specific to you? I'm just assuming like we're talking about the mm -hmm. best and worst Smash Bros games. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, sometimes my chat doesn't like to finish their thoughts, but I usually get it. <laughs> no, okay, that's yeah, no, that that's a deep connection. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, it's like the it's like, <laughs> you should see the Spawncast chat. It's really hard to decode sometimes, but now everybody sort of seems to sort of get it. It's just... Well, it's like. It's like, do you ever watch like so i only watch like one like big big boy streamer i watch a uh, hassan piker oh, and yeah, i yeah. don't under dude i do not understand how real streamers have the chat going a million miles an hour next to them and g transliterate like any of that stuff into their brains i have no idea how they do it yeah i don't know i think they probably just pick yeah. one and they like 
yeah, I don't know how they do it. Because I, I watch Ludwig sometimes, and he does the same thing. Okay. It's going super yeah. fast, and he just... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm assuming they, like, glance over, and they see one, and then they just keep that and talk about that. I just feel like my broken brain would pick out the most toxic message. Well, just... usually that's what they do. If you if you okay. see them, like, all of them, especially, like, yeah. even Hassan does it a lot. He'll, like, yeah. he'll be, like, he'll get the one person in chat who disagrees with him. Um, right. Right, and, right, 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 right. like, how do, you, how do you even think that? It makes no sense or whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. You know, so. Yeah. I will what? say, even then, though, I'm, I'm like, I'm watching the YouTube VODs. I'm, I'm not going on Twitch.tv. I can't do it. Yeah. I used to sort of like to... Well, I like streaming more on Twitch, but as an yeah. audience person, it's much worse. Mm -hmm. Just sucks to watch stuff over there, I think. Dude, that website is an awful website experience. Awful. Yeah. No, it's... Yeah. It. And it's impossible to, like, find people, too. It's just... Yeah. You know, there's a lot that is not ideal there. Yeah. It reminds me of, uh, do you, you ever play Fortnite? You ever turn Fortnite on? I love Fortnite. Okay, great. I also love Fortnite. But man, that like main menu frightens me. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty poorly made. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just gotten out of control. Yeah. They got to rein it in. Like, yeah, no, I agree. It's, uh, have you played the new one with Korra? No, but I've got it. I've got it. I'm like going to it soon. It's, it's pretty fire. I'm, I'm a little concerned that they're excluding my boy Sokka from the collab though i think wait, 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 the, there's a have, chance have you seen like the fact that they're apparently gonna put like all like they're gonna make a second battle pass basically oh really they're gonna make a second okay. battle pass with like all of the the atla characters and put them gotcha. in it hypothetically mm -hmm. um i don't know if it's like super confirmed okay I love that Aang's like out there on the map though, frozen. So yes, sick. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Big streamers have to engage slow mode. Oh yeah, they do. That's true. They put on slow mode. Slow mode. I forgot. Yeah, good call. Yeah, a lot of I feel like a lot of their chats like also will just like say, like spew garbage, right? It's just like it's like pog or whatever. You know, it's like yeah, it's not you're like, right. You're right. It's not like insightful messages that you need to respond to. Like right. we have over here, chat. Um, but it kind of reminds me of like doing stand-up comedy and like people in the audience like having their own little conversations. But then like somebody would, every now and then somebody would like call out to you and say something, and it's like okay, yeah, yeah you you delete the noise and you yeah, know. yeah, that's what I'd assume too. Fortnite is this this new season though is pretty fire. I've been playing a ton. <laughs> I like dude. I like don't ever buy the, the battle pass unless I like really mm -hmm. I'm gonna go crazy with it, but. I'm already at level like 40 and I like nice I'm, I'm so who's your uh who's your what's your go-to skin well since I got Korra it's been Korra because I I okay. love Avatar so much so I was like I yeah. have to have to do that um before that I used to play as Indy a lot Indiana, Indiana Jones yeah <laughs> why do you care about Indiana Jones I love Indiana Jones wow this is blowing my mind wow oh, yeah. I just I figured only weird old guys love Indiana Jones. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Yeah. But I'm. But that's great. I, listen, great Fortnite skin. They did them well. Right. And the shirtless one. Yeah. He's so hot. So they, I was like, I have to. Oh get yeah. Him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like. Uh, I like Harrison Ford. So I. Think sure. I, I understand that. Yeah. I was like. Uh, my my dad was big on those kind of stuff, so I was like, oh, let's just watch. Oh heck yeah, dude. Do you have a Do you have a favorite out of all of them? Um, I liked him in Blade Runner. I think the most. Oh, okay, new one or old one? The older one. Yeah, 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 cool. I I kind of like that new Blade Runner though. You know, I haven't even seen it to be honest. Oh, okay, yeah, I think it's a good time. I'm yeah, I don't even. The original Blade Runner is kind of weird. Like, I didn't realize how weird those movies were for a while. Oh, big weird, dude. Like, big super weird. weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, they're great. Mm -hmm. Still, and it was a good movie, but it was just funny. I was like, uh, but he, his acting in that is like really, really good. Yeah, yeah. So I like that. Thanks, Josie, for playing with me going to bed. Okay, thank you for the two, my guy. Appreciate you. Heck yeah. I'm just gonna jump off the side here. So. Smoosh. How did I still? That's so oh, right. Oh god. I'm not doing well on this track. Not either. 
Congrats on 15k. Much deserved. Cheers. Thank you, Chris, for the 199. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Do you have a do you have a go to favorite movie? Um, I like Aladdin. I usually just rewatch Aladdin. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah. Oh my god, Iago! That's oh, a, yes. that's that's my guy. That's my guy. I love Iago. I'm a big, mm -hmm. I'm a big Disney like uh, I I love Disney movies, especially like I mean the animated ones, like all of them pretty cool. much. Cool. So yeah, I usually do that, and I'm, um, I have a lot of nostalgia for all the Tinkerbell movies. So if I'm ever sad, I watch those. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Tinkerbell movies. Yeah, she has, like seven. Um, what? Yeah, they're awesome. I don't know. I used to watch them all the time when I was little, and I loved Tinkerbell for the longest time. She's my favorite. So, um, they're like actually not bad. They're made by the Disney Straight to Video team, but they all went to theaters because they were actually decent. Wait, wait, wait. What is like the plot of a Tinkerbell movie? Well, the first one is the Great Fairy Rescue, and it's when she. <gasps> I don't know. They, they they change it all the time, but like the the first one. Or maybe that's not the first one. I don't know. First one is about her like being born and she can't accept that she's gonna be a tinker, um, fairy because there's different types of fairies. Obviously, there's the tinker fairies. Mm, there's mm. the the weather fairies, um, and oh, so her name is Bell. She's Tinker Bell. She's Tinker Bell. Yes. Oh, well, dang. Well, her name is Tinker Bell, but it was, <laughs> but it's because she was born to be a tinker. Got it. Which got she it. can't okay. accept. Got so it. there's a bunch of different. Okay. Yeah, exactly. There's a bunch of different types yeah. of fairies and stuff, and they all like, you know, have different different purposes, and all of them are pretty cool. Except she doesn't think she's very cool, um, as a tinker. But mm. then she realizes at the end that oh, she's like a badass, and she changes it by incorporating lost things into the, the their tinker gadgets and helping the tinker. Oh. Thing. I don't know. It's like. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. No, this is cool. Kind of ties into uh, some themes of uh peter pan that way yeah for sure and, and it it's yeah. like her whole backstory it's before peter pan yeah 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 that's neat and then yeah there's one called the pirate fairy that they mentioned that's the best one um oh. and hooks Ho captain hooks actually in that dang this this is lit it i is, had no it's idea cool. it's pretty cool if you ever have a girl okay. girl daughter oh sure it, it yeah yeah sure the best okay okay that's cool see i remember my equivalent of that was that i really loved the cartoon about Hercules in high school. Oh, yeah, That was the one I loved that cartoon. That's a good cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. I, um... That, that and Phineas and Ferb. Wait, uh, can I give you some... Can I give you some great personal Hercules lore? This is gonna make you laugh. Please. Uh, my... So, a uh, church in my hometown did this musical, and it was Hercules. Uh -huh. And, and, uh... My girlfriend at the time was like, Jake, you have to audition, you have to audition, please. I'm gonna be in this musical, be in this musical with me. And I was like, okay, okay. So I auditioned for the musical. And Josie, they cast me They cast me as Hercules. And I wow. go, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, nope, Josie. And then I find out I am only weak Hercules. Oh, lame. Yes, 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 yes. I am scrawny, skinny Hercules. And then he transforms and I'm done. I'm out of the musical. That's heartbreaking. Then, yes, and then it becomes Tommy Zervis. So I, it was... <laughs> <laughs> that is heartbreaking. It was brutal, dude. I was weak Hercules. I was never going to live that down. <laughs> oh, man. Yikes. That map yeah. and I are not are not friends. No, me not. Me neither. I wailed on. That was bad. Yep. Um, don't tink shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pirate fairy is a freaking banger. So when I first started dating my boyfriend before we mm -hmm. like, like literally the first two days, Mm -hmm. I was like, I made him sit down with me and it was during COVID. So we had nothing to do and we were in high school. So literally nothing to do. Um, and we just sat and I made him watch all of the Tinkerbell movies with me to decide if he was the one. Wow. And we've been together for four years. So I think it's I mean, good Josie, you, you retained a, a boyfriend high school to college. That's pretty impressive. Thank you. Yeah, I know. That's tough. That's tough. It, that, that breaks a lot of people. They uh... No, I know. None of my friends did it. So what was it what did we used to call it something the the swarm the swarm it was uh after the first semester the first break that everybody had to go home we used to say everybody would go break up with their significant others yes and then swarm the bars and stuff yeah that's pretty much the same how it was with yeah. us yeah here yeah. no okay. yeah I don't know. it's funny but but yeah that's when i was like all right 
Now we're, now we're good to go. Cool. Thanks on, congrats on 15 subscribers. Thanks, Nathan. That's really Thank hard you. work. 15 subs, baby. When, when in earnest did you start doing the channel, Josie? How long? Um, it's been about two years. Yeah. Um, I just like, I mean, it took me about a year to get to 100k. Or you, whoa, at 1k. I, was, I think you just saw the future. No, it took me about a year <laughs> to get to, <laughs> to 1k. Okay. And that was kind of me figuring out like what I wanted the channel to be, what I am going to make videos about, how I'm going to mm. like my style, what's that going to look like. So that was all that. And then, uh, and then I've been on the spawn cast now for about a year. I think it was probably just about a year. Yeah. So then it was that. And at that point I was a little bit more, you know, like mm -hmm. locked in. I was like, okay, I could maybe actually do this. Mm. Um, so yeah, but I, I think I've really only been taking it like somewhat seriously for mm -hmm. the last couple of months. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. So it kind of seems like you're, you're, I feel like you're pretty much doing as well as you could possibly be doing at this point. Yeah, I feel like we're doing yeah. I mean, I feel like if I grew faster than that, like I just wouldn't even know what to do with it, so. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't think I'd I, have enough time to like, <laughs> nerd, like figure out like exactly what I, what I want to get out of it. So now I still have a little bit sure. of time, I guess. I don't think I ever told you this, but I think you must have been doing something right because I, when I worked at Game Explain, I just would see your content like get recommended to me. Oh, that's crazy. Like it, it would, it would literally just pop up. And like my, my feed when I worked at Game Explain was like such a very specific thing because it was like, you know, because I just like lived on YouTube on Nintendo stuff. Right. Um, so it would recommend me like a lot of like big Nintendo people. But your, ch I just saw your stuff like all the time way before we knew each other. That's funny. Yeah. Wow. So you were doing something right. I watched all the YouTube, like, guru video. I still watch a lot of those people who, like, interview, like, really big YouTubers and they talk about what they do right and stuff, and I always try to put that in my videos, cool. so. Cool. So hopefully that's what it is. I actually just yeah. went to, like, an event for with a bunch of YouTubers in L.A. That was pretty fun. Wow. Um, like, a, like a VidCon type of thing? Yeah, it was, like, these guys, Colin and Samir, they put on, like, all of these... Uh, they're just like huge in the mm. in the YouTuber space. Like if you want to be a YouTuber, like they're pretty good to watch. Like always, cool. like if people in chat are always like, "I want to do this," like, how, how, what do you recommend I do? I'm always like, "It's a it's a good time." Cool. Um, and so they were putting here. I'll add some more people chat. Um, they were putting on an event in LA, and I was like, I was like, sure, I can. Uh, I'll come. Um, and I just applied because I didn't know if I would get it. And then they were like, they were like, come on over. And I was like, sweet. So. Cool. It was fun. I was just like, uh, met a bunch of, nobody there was really a gamer. It was all a bunch of different content. So that was, that was different. But yeah. Yeah. Her <laughs> rip camera yet did just overheat yet again. It was, it was funny, Josie. For whatever reason, it appeared that what was on your camera was, like, instructions on how to cook something for a second. Yes. It always... It's, like, camera's overheating. That's what it oh, likes to tell okay. me. Oh, okay. I was... I thought it was, like, all right, put it in the microwave for three minutes and <laughs> let it cool down. I was, like, okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Let's see. So, for some reason, if I ever use something for Discord and OBS, it, like, gets really angry at me. Like never lets me do it. I don't know why. All this stuff is so temperamental in that way. It is. Okay, chat, we're using the shitty cam for a moment. Whoa, why do I look so whoa, never mind, no we're not. That I look like a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Are you in like a dorm room? Is that how you do this? Um, I'm a nanny, so I actually live, like, with the family at their place. Oh, that rips, Josie. It's That's great. a great deal. It's a really Man. great deal. Um, so. Yeah. Heck so, yeah. So, yeah, I, I do that. Um, so I have my own room and stuff, which is great. I mean, it's really the only yeah. way this YouTube thing would have worked out, because. I was always so curious about that. I was like, you just have a roommate that's chilling there the whole time? No, like... no, no, no. Yeah, it's, I got my own room, <laughs> and it's pretty fun. Yeah, that's awesome. 
you should uh you should if you can by the way uh this year you should try and it's you know the end of the year you should try and go to the game awards such a good time oh yeah did you do you like that oh my god we had the best time yeah i loved it i was literally there a day before for a tekken event that john sent me to right 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 and i was i wanted to go really bad and all of the people that were at the thing they're like we can just give you a ticket like you can go right now and i was like oh that's so cool um but i had a final and my teacher told me that Uh, if i missed the final he was gonna just fail me for the entire thing and i had an a in his class and i like sent him an email though because i was like hey this is like really cool thing and he's a film teacher so i thought he'd get it you know yeah and he was like no no you have to be at this thing if you're not here you're gonna fail the class and i was like awesome oh man that is a bummer awesome dog thank you yeah it was it was uh upsetting yeah but but yeah so next year i would really like to go i'm actually gonna do like online school next year just to get a ba in film and start like getting um you know i'm close to la sort of so i'm gonna start like getting more experience in the actual industry because one of my mom's friends is a producer um yeah 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 for like reality tv i didn't mm-hmm. mean to press tokyo blur i hate that map shit Ooh, josie we talking reality tv i love reality tv it's my dog favorite. are you watching deal or no deal island no what is that tune, tune in immediately josie immediately what it's, is it they they've decided to reboot deal or no deal but now they are also living on an island and have to do physical challenges to earn the cases. Wow. Yes. And they compete against each other. It's this whole thing. It's 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 lovely. It's a That's great really time. Cool. I'm yes. like I'm, I'm, like, I'm yeah. I think I'm in like the reality rea- like uh like the drama reality niche. You oh, know? Bravo Nation? <laughs> Dude. You're in the Bravo universe? Is that what I'm hearing? No, it's like, it's like I like the Kardashians, like, a lot. Like, I watch oh, that all okay. the time. I think it's sure, super funny. Sure. Um, yeah. And, like, The Bachelor. A lot of the Well, yeah, stuff. I mean, love Batch. Yeah. Do you watch Bachelor in Paradise? Yeah, of course. Glad. What do you think? Of, did you watch this season? With Joey? With Joey. Only a little bit. Only bits and pieces. It's funny. He's, fr- he's like, from my neighborhood. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Bucks wild. County. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, only I was I was in and out. Um, I don't know. I I got people people really liked him, but I was just uh, honestly other reality shows kind of took my heart away. That's fair. I was uh I was really into the traders. Oh, dude, you ever see the traders? No. Oh, so do you remember when the pilot Pete was the Bachelor? Yes. So he was on the he was on the traders recently. Oh. Um, and it's kind of like you ever play Mafia? You ever play that game? No, like but I've you, heard of it. Yeah, you like sit in a circle and somebody's the killer and you got to figure out who. Yeah, it's like Among Us. Yeah, it's exactly like Among Us. That is the that is the reality show. Okay. So, so it's all of these reality celebrities in a living in a castle, and every night they go, "Okay, which one of you is the killer?" And you just Whoa. have to talk it out and see who's lying. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, and then at the end of that conversation, they eliminate somebody, and then they all go to sleep, and then when they get up the next day, somebody has been eliminated. That's so. really cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good time. It's a, uh, it was on, it was on Peacock, and it was their like most successful show ever by far. Yeah. So <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So people, people loved it, dude. People loved it. So there you go. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I don't. I like. Um... I don't know. I feel like I'm very like like base reality show like i like Jer- jersey Shore and just like all the maniac shows because i just think they're so entertaining vanderpump i've never seen that one. Oh, josie you're killing me you're killing me Sorry. vanderpump is top tier unhinged really oh my god it is the most season one of vanderpump rules is required viewing josie if you turn it on you will fall in love okay. you'll fall in love it, it is you cannot believe what is happening on the screen in front of you <laughs> yeah all right uh, Josie, are you a Survivor fan? I do like Survivor. I like Survivor a lot. Oh, stop, Josie. You like Survivor? Yeah. Josie, you know who's on Deal or No Deal Island? Who? Austin Robb! Whoa! Yes! Or maybe I do have to watch this show. That sounds pretty cool. Not so good. Yeah, the dating reality shows. Exactly. Medallion. That's pretty mm. much that's my niche. That's my... Love is Blind? Yes. Okay. You watched the most recent one? 
I haven't actually. Oh, okay. Have you seen Too Hot Man. to Handle? That's okay. A I gotta tell you, that one, it scares me too much. <laughs> it's really aggressive. Yeah, the people, the people, for, the fact that those people exist, it frightens me. I, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's like pretty crazy every time I watch oh, it. I'm like, man. oh my god. I yep. think it's so funny though. Um, God. Yeah, that and then I just I really like the Kardashians. I watch that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just funny. S Sarah watches that, so I, I I catch it sometimes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I think I gotta tell you, I it's so weird. I find Kim Kardashian to be endearing. I, I find do her to too. be a, a likable person. She just is. Yeah. I do too. Well, I think it's yeah. like I think the the majority of people do, but then there's just like the people who don't like her because they've yeah. heard that they don't like her. Sure. Because sure. it's, it's not like usually their actual opinion. It's like they, right? You know, you're not supposed to like a billionaire, which is fair. I understand. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. But yeah. But she's congenial. I, I have know. to give her credit. She's she is. And she's super funny. Yeah. No, I I genuinely think she's great. It's you know, it happens. Yeah. The sisters and stuff, I'm not I'm not as into, but yeah. I like her. Yeah. Yeah, I really like um, I really like Chloe. Chloe Kardashian yeah. is probably my favorite. She's super funny, and I really like uh, Kylie. Okay, um, now I do like um, I like I do like Kendall though. I gotta tell you. Oh, I love Kendall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kendall too. is cool. For the longest time, she was dating uh, a player on my favorite basketball team. So it was like oh. I was in on the I was in on the lore, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 She um, she's cool. She's the only one without a kid. Oh my god, is that true? Yeah. No, what about the one what about the one dating Timothy Chalamet? She doesn't have a kid. Oh she no, she does. She has two kids. Oh, oh my my god, you're right. I'm yeah. crazy. Wow. Kylie's great though. What do you what do you what do you think that's about? That relationship. Timothy Chalamet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um you know, I have no idea. I yeah, feel like it's something. I feel like I kinda like it for Kylie. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. But I don't know if I like it for Timothy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. What I tell people about Timothy is that everybody thinks he's like this French aristocrat, but really he's just some guy from New York. You know, he's like yeah. he's got that frog in him. You know, yeah, he's just yeah. a chiller. He's like he's like a. Uh, well, do you know his like he like used to make YouTube videos and like sell Xbox yes. mods and all that stuff. Yeah. Yes. The so rules. He's, yeah, he's kind of funny. I like. I mean, I like both of them a lot. So. I think it. I think it kind of makes sense, um, but Kylie's just like she's like a super good mom. She's like really, really. Oh, cool. Her kids are like great kids, so it's just like. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't know about that. Yeah, she's just like. She's just like a very, very good mom. So it's kind of fun to like watch her on that show because she is so. It's funny because people don't think she's like that good of a person, right? I mean, all with all of them, yeah, they're yeah. just like, uh, I don't know, and like a lot of the 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 stuff about them is like they're not great parents which is probably right. true for like mm. some of them i think but i think chloe and uh and kylie are like really good parents and if you see like how well behaved her kid is it's like super mm. impressive that's cool and she's just like the sweetest little kid too so it's just like i like her i don't know and she takes her yeah. everywhere like she'll go to like milan fashion week and take her kid and it's just like super cute and cool. the little girl's just like, you're so pretty, and just like hangs out, and she's just like super, Aww. super happy to be there. So it's just kind of fun. Now, um, do you feel that you passively take in like celebrity gossip and things like that? Like, are you too? Like, how much do you know about Ariana Grande? Oh yeah, I know about her like divorce and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that something you're interested in or not really? I feel like I like just hear about it. Yeah. Um, and I don't not want to hear about it, but I don't ever seek it mm -hmm. out, I guess. Sure. Yep, 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 um, yep, yep, yep. I kind of love Ariana Grande, but I know she's just kind of a bad person. No, like Josie. I like it. her, too. Yeah. I think I think she's been... I, I don't know. I don't trust the people that are making a narrative out of her. I think she might actually be okay. Yeah, I, I don't either. I feel like... Yeah. And also, I feel like you can be an okay person and a bad person to date. I have a lot of friends like that. So, oh, like, great point. One hundred percent. Great friend, bad boyfriend. Yeah, it's like it's like he's a super yeah. great guy, but you could never date him because he's just not. Yes. He's not dateable. But. Mm. So, and I think that's just where she is. Like, I just think in her life right mm. now, she's not a great person to date. But she's. That doesn't mean she's not a good person. Um. It, 
And yep. I I loved Victorious. I used to watch that show all the time, and I loved oh, nice. Victorious. So mm, I just cool. feel like I've kind of grown up with her, and she's definitely older than I am, but I just really like her. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I don't like how many people, like, judge. I mean, I think for all the celebrities, like, it's fair. Like, there's not a lot to talk about, and what does it do to talk <laughs> about their lives? But, because yeah. it doesn't really matter. But I just feel bad sometimes, because I'm like, these people don't really deserve to be attacked right now, guys. Yeah, I mean, think about how little you know about, like, your the relationships of like some of your closest friends like you really don't know yeah what that relationship is like when you're not there exactly so for yeah so for us to judge or whatever i gotta tell you the, the new ariana grande album i'm obsessed oh yeah no they all slap I'm, oh my god it's so good she's a um, she's really good and she's so talented so i'm just like yeah you know i can't wait to see that movie she's a movie i don't know if i even heard about that oh the wicked movie oh yeah yeah wicked yes that's exciting yes with Spongebob. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm very, very into that, too. Yeah, I like, yeah. I think, and she's, I like that she's getting back into acting. I loved her as an actor, so. Yes. Do you have a, do you have a stomach for the musical movie? I love musicals. I love musicals. Oh, heck yeah. Did you yeah. watch uh, the Mean Girls, the musical movie? No, because I didn't think it was, I thought there was no point to bring that movie back. I feel like it's so still so relevant. Like, what was the. Yep was the goal there but i heard i heard it's not that bad but i heard it's like kind of upsetting that they didn't really lean into the musical like they they just did it mm. but they didn't lean i don't know a lot of people were just talking about how they didn't take advantage of it but i i mean i haven't watched it so i don't really know what, yeah. what are your thoughts um i, I like musicals so i'm like there for it but uh -huh. i will say i think it's like yeah i i think the key is is like wasted potential it's i think it's like perfectly good viewing it's a good time but um yeah. it's like whoever directed it had no vision it's like right. a robot it's like a robot directed it Ugh. every shot is boring that's annoying. every so that's yeah it's so weird dude it's so weird but um but like dude yeah, that yeah. girl that plays like regina george she's just killer i love that girl so yeah it's yeah yeah, I just, I feel like I'm getting like annoyed with how often they're remaking things and I just feel like there's not a lot of a point to do that. And so totally. like, I usually just won't watch the new ones anymore because I feel like box office numbers always like equate to them being like, okay, this is a good decision. We'll do more of these. And so I just don't see them anymore, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The investment, the investment is too high. We can yeah. only have sure hits. Yeah. Exactly. It's like with Disney. What Disney's doing right now is horrendous. I, I love Disney, but they are just screwing the pooch and everything. Oh, way. dude, the Disney remakes make me so mad, Josie, because I, know, they, I feel they, yeah, like why can't they make it visually interesting? Yes. Like the fact that the art style is okay. What do we make? Hey, what do we make Lion King look like? And it's just somebody sitting at a computer typing lion into Google, and that's what they go with. It like, oh, it makes me so mad. Oh, well, the it makes fact me so that mad. that live action is still animated, I'm like, come on, dog. Like, that's no, not... it's it's a joke. Please have a visual style. It would go so far. It's just so stupid. And it's like, yeah. it's like you take these animated movies, which have so much character and style, and you just destroy it. Yeah, no. Like, you just and do it, it doesn't look right either. Opposite. It's like, you have a, you know, when you have a cartoon a animal emoting like a human, it makes sense. But yeah. then you have a real looking animal singing a song that no. shit's dumb it's very that shit is dumb. yeah <laughs> they don't have faces dog they, don't... <laughs> they cannot emote oh, like that man. i know no that, that wish movie too was pretty bad this last year yeah i think it had so much potential yeah and it just like i just feel like disney just like doesn't know what they're doing right now mm -hmm. like they've had so many good hits and and now they're just like Okay, well, now we just need to make more of those, which means sequels, which isn't the answer. Yeah. Um, it's like Moana 2. I'm, like, kind of disappointed by that. Dude, I know. I love Moana so much. It's it's probably one of my favorite Disney movies. Yeah, me too. And I and I just have... What could the story possibly be? Exactly. Nothing. Yeah, I, there's, yeah, there's no, no way. And it's like... I don't know. It's like they used to make these sequels already from like their live or straight to DVD stuff. Which right. was, wasn't great, but like it was still there while we had really good movies still coming out. Well, it, it really served the audience of like, 
you know, parents get that stuff for their kids to watch at home. Exactly. And, like that, that was really important at a time. And now it's like, you don't have that as much since you have like the streaming services. So that thing kind of goes away. Right. But like you can make yeah. straight to streaming stuff. And that's what I think we yeah, should have done. Totally. But yeah, yeah no, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. Camera hot again. I know chat. I, it will come back. We just gotta let it breathe for a sec. I don't know why we're doing. Like sometimes it's totally fine, and then other times it just freaks the hell out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at the same time, it's still a victim of the, of that playing off nostalgia thing. Says Medallion. Yeah, Medallion. You know uh, what is that? Nostalgia. The etymology of that word. Uh, like nostos to return home and algos pain. Like it's built into the world that there's something painful about nostalgia. It's not all good. <laughs> Yeah. That's what right. you get when you have me on the stream, Josie. That's what you get. No, I appreciate <laughs> it. I appreciate it. I just always think it's so bizarre. I just there's like no point most of the time. I don't yeah, know. no. Especially in there's the, no in vision the remi remakes and like it just feels corporate. And Wish was like had that potential, and especially since it's like their 100th animated movie, but fell flat. I don't oh, think it was it's so sad. Yeah. I don't think it was terrible, terrible, but I just don't think it was good. But I think when we went to go see it, my fiance said to me, she goes, you know what's crazy about that movie? It wasn't about anything. It was about a bad guy trying to take over a town. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I guess you're right, dude. <laughs> yep. It's crazy. Like it used to, I feel like not to be one of these people, but they're just, when they're, when they hit, they're so meaningful. Yeah. And like that's what's important about it is that they like and that's why it works because it like speaks to people from like all walks of life and all ages right and w when you lose that it's just like oh god what am i doing here well yeah and like what do you have to say that makes it important to make this yeah Over. rj sucks i just got smacks <laughs> <laughs> what are what are some other top disney movies for you um i really like the emperor's new groove Oh my god, yes. Cusco, dude, Cusco. a legend. Yeah, and actually that show yeah. was like my entire childhood. I used to watch Yes, I remember that show too, Josie. Yes. Yeah. That's a good show. Oh, that rules. I used mm. to watch, watch it all the time. Um, so that, um, I kind of ended up really liking Ryan the Last Dragon. I didn't think oh it my was god, I, I don't even. Said. I don't even know what that is. So it's like a new, it's like a new Disney movie. It's... The, mm. It came out right before Encanto. Oh um, wow! It's pretty good, I think. It's just mm, uh, cool. It's uh, it's like not a musical, which kind of killed it. I think. I think they should have made it a musical because I think it would have been so much better. Um. Yeah, I like that. I like Hercules a lot. I like. Yeah. I like Peter Pan, but it's hard to watch now. <laughs> it's just a little bit. Mm. Bad. Um. Uh, let me think. What else do I like to watch? Would you Would you think about Encanto? I liked Encanto. I yeah. Didn't, I I like the music, but I just feel like it's not as timeless as all their other music. Like it's very yeah. That's interesting. I think you're probably right about that. Yeah. It's so um, Lin Manuel Miranda. Like that's exactly yeah. what he does. You know, and he's mm -hmm. good, but it's just like it's it's basically Hamilton in a Disney movie, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, the yeah, songs yeah. are the same kind of tempo like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I liked it. I really like Tangled. I kind of want them to bring back the love story. I know a girl isn't about love all the time, but I just think it... It was nice. I liked when they did that. And I'd yeah. love if they do, like, a... Mm. If we wanted to make this progressive, too, like, it'd be cool to see, like, a... I don't know, like, a lesbian princess or someone like that. Like, I'd be so down for anything like that. But I, I, I kind of want Josie, them to bring back I think, the I think, story. I think Moana has a chance. Really? I could see I could see them going in that direction. I could see them doing it. That'd be cool. I'd like to see it because I loved Tangled. I loved Tangled. I think something. In, I think something in my favor is that the girl that voices Moana. I think she's queer because she plays queer characters a lot. Yeah, that's true. Have you seen Nimona? Yes, we watched it recently. It's really good. I'd love to see them yeah. do something like that. That was yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, should have made a Spider Woman movie, honestly. <laughs> Dude, Spider Woman, kind of a 
kind of a cool character. Jessica She's Drew. Cool. She is cool. Heck yeah. Yeah. Did you see Madam Web? I did. Did you like it? I'm not as rough on it as everybody else. I think it's uh it's a movie that takes place in like the early 2000s and it is emulating the superhero movies of the early 2000s. Yeah. And um I don't know. It was it's I think part of it Josie is that I just am at a place with like the actual Marvel movies that I anything different I will warmly yeah, embrace. That's fair. I would just yeah, because they're just in their flop era right now. They all and suck I can't handle so it. Bad. They they're so bad, just creatively bankrupt. Yeah. That I just uh, yeah. So so I don't know. I went to the movie theater. I saw Madam Web and I and I left and I said hell yeah, brother. That was weird. <laughs> that and then, was weird. <laughs> and that was it. And that was okay. It didn't it didn't offend me in the way that I know a lot of people got really mad at it. But I will say I like. I have a high tolerance for that kind of thing. Like the the Venom movies, I unironically really enjoy. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, I find them to be. I I think there are few things as funny as Venom in Eddie's head going. Eddie, there's <laughs> Anne. We love her, Eddie. I just think that that's a ten out of ten joke. So it's you know. So I'm there for can't be stupid at Venom. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of the second one with Carnage? Okay, so I like the second one more because I feel that they just straight up were goofy the whole time. Yeah. Whereas the first one, they had to kind of like, they had to get to the point where they could be goofy. But the second one, they're like, no, no, no. We know that this is a romantic comedy about Eddie and Venom. Like they even right. do the scene where like Venom like moves out and like is throwing all the stuff out of the window, all of his clothes and things. And like, yeah. I'm like, oh, dude, they, yes, they end up on the beach together. It's like so good, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, Lucas with the two Canadian. I think that's Canadian. I'm sorry, man. I have Heck no idea. Yeah. Have to go to a bid now. See ya. Congrats on 15K. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the congrats. We'll keep grinding away, chat. Uh, it's actually uh, two two and one cent, Josie. Don't. A two and know. one cent. My bad. My bad. Come Do on. Do they dude. have cents? Yeah. I don't know if that's a cent though. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you. The second I said that, I was like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I like the Venom movies despite their problems. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I'm like, uh, I think my movie taste is really specific these days. I don't know. I'll pretty much watch anything, but I find that I like will watch stuff and like very little will I really like. like yeah, like, I'm I'm right there with you. It it takes a lot yeah. for me to go. This is. Like I, this is good and I like it. Yeah, this is yeah, a good movie all, that I would a watch again. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just feel like they're all so boring right now. Except for like, I really like um, A24. I feel like they do some good stuff. Yeah, days. of course. Sometimes I've... it gets a little too weird for me, but but yeah, I, I'm all about it. Yeah, some of their stuff I don't love, but I yeah. like. Have you seen Marcel the Shell with shoes on? No, Jesse. you have to watch that movie. It's actually super super good. Wow, Marcel the Shell is back. Did you watch those original things? Way back when. Yeah, Way so it's, back. it's yeah. about, it's just like a documentary style mm. on Marcel. And it's wow. super good. It's so good. Oh, so good. It's, like a, it's like a joke? It's Yeah, it's not like an actual documentary about the guy who uh -huh. made it, but it's like, it's like a mockumentary <laughs> type thing nice okay it's super good it was like it's like it has like emotional weight it is like oh interesting okay. it's like genuinely a very good movie i was i was shocked yeah. i thought it was gonna be kind of oh. dumb but then i put it on and it was like one of my favorite movies of the last few years wow yeah if you have any time I just watched, watch um, it. no I, i'll check it out for sure i just watched the uh steve martin documentary i really liked it oh i haven't seen yeah, is Steve Martin somebody that you're familiar with at all? Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay, all right. That's he that's. He sounds tough. familiar. Who's that? Yeah, so he's kind of like the old comedian now who has like famously white hair. Okay. Um, if you've seen Only Murders in the Building with Selena Gomez. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's he's one of those guys. Um, yes. Yeah, so but okay. he would. Yeah, he was. He was. I think there's an argument to be made that he's like the biggest comedian, like stand-up comedian of all time. Okay. Um, yeah, he just had an insane stand-up career. But people my age know him 
most popularly from the film Cheaper by the Dozen. Oh, I've seen that. Yes. Heck yeah. He's the dad. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love Cheaper by the Dozen. But yeah, it was really cool. It was like a, it's a two-part documentary. First part is focused on his his uh like the first half of his career like the deep past his origins and the second part's kind of focused on like his movie and tv career that was the second half the half half of his professional life and i just thought it was i don't know it was it's, it's very rare that i think you see a celebrity who is a genuinely like unique thinker mm -hmm. so spending that much time with him it was kind of cool just to be like oh yeah you're like a little weirdo yeah you're so yeah it was neat okay Maybe yeah i'll check it out i yeah. um yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've been just kind of tired of a lot of mm. movies and stuff mm. lately because they've all just mm. all just been boring to me. It's a big investment to watch a whole movie. It is, and yeah. like, and like I like the idea of it always, but I I end up liking older stuff more so than the newer stuff every single time. Sure. Uh, yeah. And it's still new to me usually because I haven't seen it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's weird, especially with shows. I'm going through this whole thing with shows right now. Where I just kind of hate all of them. Dude. Like, I haven't found a single show that I like that I've gotten it. Aside from, like, Big Bang Theory and Friends and stuff. I just rewatch those shows. Okay, so you like a light watch. Yeah, I'm a sitcom girl. I don't yeah, like yeah, super you, heavy Yeah, yeah, Modern stuff. Family? Yeah, I love Modern Family. Yeah, of course. Okay, great. That's an easy, such an easy soft watch. Yeah. 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 Stuff like that. I feel like... I don't know. Jo more... Wait, Josie, you watching Seinfeld out <laughs> here? Uh, yes. I love Steinfeld. Okay, great. Okay, okay. How do you say it? Is it Seinfeld or Steinfeld? Seinfeld. Seinfeld, okay. Uh, yeah, there's no T. There's no T. That's, what, that's what I always thought, and then people would be like, you're pronouncing it wrong. I was like, okay. Whoa, weird. Um, I, like, made a video, and it was, like, a while ago, but I was, like, said yeah. something, and it was, like, a line, and I don't even remember, but it was something that Elaine had said in that show. And no I was, like, way. I was like, for those who know, that's from Seinfeld. And I was like, we're Seinfeld. I don't really know how you say it. Um, and the top, like, one of the top comments was like, this girl claims to have watched seven seasons of the show and she can't even pronounce the name. Liar. And I was like, what? <laughs> wow, that's extremely weird. <laughs> I was like, that is really, it's really aggressive for why. Dude, you're a liar, dude. I can't tell you this. <laughs> I was like, why would I lie about watching Seinfeld? Like, who, who would lie about that show? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's more embarrassing to say that you have, like, I like it even, but you know what I mean? I'm trying to think what an iconic Elaine phrase or line would have been. I can't remember what it was, because it was, it was something that was really specific and, like, from something she said to, like, Jerry in passing. Okay. I just don't even, but it was, like, super yeah. sassy, and I said it because I was talking about some comment. I was like, I was like, mm. before you guys yell at me that I don't understand or whatever. Here's this, and then, um... Right. Josie, you know how on, on my channel we were talking about having a, having like a, uh, like a late night talk show format type yeah. thing? Yeah. I always thought a fun segment for something like that would be to go to the previous episode's comments and just, and just like whine about the most annoying ones. Yeah, just, yeah, that is a good idea. I do yeah. that on stream all the time. It's great content. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's fun. Uh, oh they... yeah, did you watch Curb? Medallion wants to know. Uh uh. Oh, oh I love Curb. You know what? I've watched like one episode of it. I don't know if I'm yeah. a Larry, Larry David person. Uh, Josie, I gotta tell you, you gotta give it. You gotta give it another shot. Okay. It's it's, it's some of the episodes are a little, are a little dark. Mhm. Mm and 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 I think, but it's really it's like a masterpiece at times. Okay. Yeah, it's worth it. It's it's just tough because I think I think Jerry balanced out his his like mean streak. So sometimes Curb gets a little mean, but okay. but when it's but when it's not mean, it's really some of the most creative stuff out there. It's really well done. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh man, I love give Curb. Give it another try. Yeah, I like I'm I'm starting to watch Sunny um Oh, sure. It's always Sunny. And yeah. that's actually been super funny. I didn't even know who Charlie Day was really until he voiced Luigi. Wow. And so like then I was like, oh wow, this is this is Luigi. That's crazy. Yeah. But I just I never watched the show, but I, I think it's super funny, so I'm 
I'm watching that a little bit right now. I just like, right now, I used to like pretty like heavier shows, but right now I find myself just not wanting to watch anything like that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Some like lighter, chiller yeah. stuff. Because I feel like I usually only watch shows and TV like to relax. And I don't want to. I'm like... kind of the same, Josie. Yeah, it's yeah. tough for me to to sign up for like something heavy. Yeah, like when I'm at home like that. Yeah, a whole yeah. roller coaster thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... Oh, um, man. I'm glad we have some Seinfeld appreciators in the chat right now. This is filling my heart. Yeah. Um. Oh, Arrested Development. Great recommendation. Oh if yeah, you I've, seen heard, that. I've heard yeah. about that one. That one seems really good. That one flies under the radar of classic sitcoms. Uh, yeah. It is good though. That one is that the one um, that Jason is Bateman same, is that by the same people who made like The Office and Parks and Rec? Whoa, I don't think so. But no. if it is, it, it might be. Now you're saying that it's kind of connecting some dots. I could see it. Okay. But yeah, but I I did not have that association. I'm not the biggest I'm not the biggest Office man. I'm not the biggest Office girl either. I like Parks and yeah. Rec a lot though. Cool. I, I realized I like more like like Friends and Big Bang and Modern Family style sitcoms. Yeah, instead of like yeah, yeah. work sitcoms. Mm -hmm. I think like I like the family sitcoms the most or sure. like the friend sitcoms. I love dating as a concept on a TV show. Yes. I'm, I, yes, it poisons my mind. I, oh, like How I like, Met Your Mother is super good. Exactly, exactly. That, yeah, I agree. That's uh, Josh Radner, friend of the show. <laughs> yeah, that's my buddy, Josie. The star of that show. Are you kidding? No, we've been over this. No, have we not talked about this? No. Like no, the, that's my friend. Like We're, Ted? Yes. Yes. What? Yes. We we are from the the my we're from the same small town in Ohio. That's insane. Yes. Wow. Dude, what? Good guy. Good guy. Josh Ryder. The guy. You guys are homies? Homies, dude. That's so insane. Heck yeah, dude. What is he doing now? Is he uh, a lot of music or? stuff. A lot yeah. of music, a lot of theater. He just got married. Wow. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Huge congrats. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, had a, had a little bit of a rough, rough patch for a second there. He was on an NBC show that he was really excited about. And then uh, she got canceled. Oh. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember he was like a he was like a teacher. It was like oh. a drama school or something. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of cool. That's brutal. Um, oh, Moana was in it. Um, oh, the girl. Yeah. That's that's fun. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, homie. Does anyone have strong opinions on Gilmore Girls? Oh my God, chat. Extremely positive. Strong, strong positive on Gilmore Girls. I have never seen Gilmore Girls. Oh, you know, see, there you go. There's the content for the rest of your life. Yeah. You're set. Oh, yeah. You turn that puppy on. You've got many seasons of glorious. I want to watch New Girl. Have you seen that? Yeah, New Girl. Yeah. Do you like it? I, okay. My, I think my fiance, Sarah, I think is a much bigger fan of it than me, but I don't, okay. I don't dislike it. Mm. It's 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 there's something about it that I just like don't personally connect. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's a there's a certain kind of humor that's tough for me sometimes, and I call it like LOL so random. Oh yeah, I don't like that humor either. It's a little it's a little like <laughs> oh my god, I'm so random. It's like a little it's a little oh, bit that god. for me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The quirky girl humor. It's a little yeah, a little bit. I don't wanna I don't wanna make it like a Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think the guy that that plays Schmidt in that show is so funny. I think he carries it, but I don't care for any of the other characters. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The boys, the the girl, the new girl in question. No, like, it, and I will say part of this, Josie, is I'm a little biased. When I was in college, people would tell me all the time, they're like, "You are just like Nick from New Girl," and it made me so mad. Cause I am an individual. That's no fair. one's like me. Yeah. All right. And and then I watched the show and I got so mad, Josie, because I am nothing <laughs> like that man. It, it made it me so insult. upset. I was watching it with Sarah and my mind, I was like, wait, how are these people seeing me? 
what are they seeing that I'm not seeing? And then we watched an episode where he was like obsessed with singing the song Breakfast at Tiffany's and it all clicked because there was a time in my life where I was obsessed with singing that oh, God. song. <laughs> and I was like, is this it? Is this all they're seeing? Oh man. Yeah. yeah. I got a I got a few shows that I'm thinking I think about. that's a good one to dip your toe in. I think you could try that one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. That and Gilmore Girls. I feel like I've tried to watch Gilmore Girls and then I like didn't end up end up sticking with it. Like, I gotta tell you, it? as a as a writer, I think you I think you with your modern perspective, if you think about it like an artist, the way that that show writes its stories, especially in the like the first season, like I don't know, the movements of the scene, like, okay, first we start here, and then we go here, and then this character shows up and introduces this idea. Like, it's so well, it's one of the best choreographed TV shows in that regard that I've ever okay. seen. I, I'm, the the pacing, it's like, mm, it's delicious. They're so good. Okay. Yeah. We'll dig into it more. Do you watch, like, Rick and Morty? Yeah, but, like, when was the last time that was even a thing? Like, I feel like... I feel like I haven't seen, like, when was the last time there was a new Rick and Morty episode? It was, like, a couple months ago. It's sort of recent. Wait, are you are you serious? It's back on? Yeah, I think so. There's, like, the new season. Wow. Okay, the the algorithm has not alerted me to new Rick and Morty. I mm. feel like it's been years since I've seen it. I was into it, too. I liked it. It's a good time. Yeah, I'm a big, I like that. I like Solar Opposites. I don't know if you've seen that, but that one's actually pretty Oh, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. like that. The, the algorithm it's, tries to serve me that a lot. It's yeah. good. It's funny. Oh, cool. Um, I feel like I like animated TV the most lately. Like, the one thing that I've seen recently that stuck with me it was the Scott Pilgrim show on Netflix. I really liked that. Uh, I really liked it too. Like, I just like I like it when yeah. they do s different things. It feels to me like mm. everything's sort of the same lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, you know, spoilers, but oh yeah, you know, like nobody kills off the main character, you know, in the first right. episode. Like, it's not a thing. So it was pretty cool mm -hmm. to see to see that and I think after studying it you know and knowing all the yep. structure of a story and all that stuff mm, mm. I like really like when something doesn't follow it yes 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 so it, it, it just gets like predictable to me yeah it had a it had a take and yeah. it's so funny you like I feel like you could hand a story to like 10 different creators in theory you should get 10 different stories but like but something is lately. like broke. I know something is broken in entertainment right now, where yeah. it's like everything is so like following this this known quantity path. It's yeah, it's tough. Right, they're all the same. It's just. You I watching? Uh, you watching that new X Men cartoon? I am a little bit. Yeah. I think that's all right. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, I, I've been uh, surprised by it. I would say I'm yeah. not like the I'm not a huge like X Men old X Men cartoon head. So I didn't think I was gonna like it, but no, it's 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 kind of artfully done. It's interesting, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I don't love the animation, but oh, I know it's the one thing. But I I get that that's what they have to stick to because it's like yeah the old style. But yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but yeah, that no. and um I like uh what was it, what was it? recently no, just Invincible. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like Invincible kind of a lot. I don't like the boys yeah. at all. I don't know. No, me neither. Me neither. It's gratuitous. It's yeah. It's really. It's yes. too. It's too graphic. Yep. Mm -hmm. And people are like, "Well, Invincible's the same way." And I was like, "No, it's not that bad. And at least it's animated, so it's less real." <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Gross. I, years ago, I like read all of the Invincible comics, so I I've like known about it for a long time. Oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, there there are a few things better than that that twist at the beginning of that series with the dad. That yes. is an all-timer, yeah. Yes. All right. Mount Wario, it is time. I think, chat, this is gonna oh. be my last race, Jake. Excellent. Wanna... Yeah, no, that's great. I was I was literally just about to ask how many more of these we had in us. Yeah, I got I <laughs> one more. Well, one more. Oh, man. Um... Wait, the boys is awesome, lol. I'm trying to get RGT to watch it. He'd probably like it. I oh yeah, like, I mean people love it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a my boyfriend really likes it. It's like a good show. Nice. I just can't I just can't watch it. I don't know. Not it's for me. It's too aggressive for me, you know. Yep. 
I don't know. Um. Gaming wise, mm. what's like a game that you've played in the last few years that like changed how you felt about like, oh. the gaming industry? You know, it was like, oh, oh wow, this dang. is like the future. Okay, left an impression. Yeah. Um, or like well, this was like so different, you know? Mm, like I will say, um, I, it's kind of a lame answer, but the first thing that came to mind was on PlayStation VR, the Horizon game. Okay. It just like, I really felt like I was inhabiting a space and I did things in that game that I would like never do in any other video game where like I would stop and admire the vistas or I right. like, this is so dumb, but like I'd have two characters talking to me and like one on my left and one on my right. And like, as they're talking to me, I'm being like a freako, Josie, and I'm like role playing my reactions. I'm like, I'm like turning away from them when they say something I don't like, <laughs> or I'm like, I'm like meeting their eyes when I'm trying to intimidate them. I'm like, why am I doing this? And I just okay. was like, I was just so in that world. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess I really liked that. And man, it's been, I don't know. It's, it's I got another lame answer. But Pokemon Legends Arceus kind of yeah, got it was to an me. exciting new step for yeah for, for sure. It, it it made me believe that Pokemon could do it again. Yeah. I I was like I was like oh they've still got it they've still got it in them. Right. Um, yeah, which I was not sure of. So yeah, so I really loved that. But I don't know what's 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 your answer to that question. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, recently, I liked Mario Wonder a lot because I was like, this is a new future for 2D Mario where it's not cool. so corporate. Yeah. So I think that was really cool. And Pigment Force really surprised me. I mean, hmm. those two are really recent. Um, just because, like, I like Pikmin a lot, but I didn't know what the next step was. So probably that. And it got me like mm -hmm. excited to dive into the backlog of Pikmin. Um, well then that let me think. Uh, you know Metroid Dread actually did that to me because I wanted to, cool. I wanted to play the older Metroids, Metroids. Um, and I was I was super into it for for a second there. Um, and even I liked the older like the first Metroid. I didn't think it was that bad. But now at this point, since my comments have gotten so aggressive about it, I just, I just <laughs> say that I hate it all the time. <laughs> out of spite but i That's don't awesome. really don't hate it but every time i get yeah. a chance to say it i'm like yeah that game sucks for a bunch of <laughs> losers if you like that game you're a loser and i say it all the time but <laughs> nice i just gotta lean into it at a certain point um yeah yeah stuff like that but yeah i haven't a lot of media stuff lately i haven't been like the most impressed by yeah um i tried the vision pro that kind of impressed me but i also thought it was yeah. kind of dumb i don't know yeah I don't see the point in it, I guess, is what I'm saying. It it does walk that line, I think, between impressive and kind of dumb. Like, there's just, like, very, <laughs> like, what is the point here? Like, that's what I just don't get. I'm like, oh, oh Josie, you know what I really liked, actually? Octopath 2. That's, oh, okay. that's, yeah, that really spoke to me. The, like, the actual words on the page were good. Okay. And you, you rarely get that in a video game. Yeah. It, like, I was like rare. engaged in the in the text. I yeah, it had real themes that wow. meant something. I know, I know. It, I was very surprised. It was I, yeah, that that really spoke to me. That game. That is super rare for a video game. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Different yeah. stuff, different stuff all over the map. Um, yeah. Chat. What would you say? Metroid Dread is literally my answer. Yeah, that's fair. Cool. Nice. That's fair. Um, the remake do be better though. Oh yeah, like uh, Zero Mission. I gotta play it. Bring it to NSO, please. Oh my god, my camera. Wow, today, right now is the time we overheat. That's wild. No. Josie, how do you wrap up a stream? How do you do it? Um, I usually talk to my chat for a second and then I kind of. Oh, it. lovely. So chat, I'll talk to you as a person in the void for a moment. Yeah. Um. Have you guys tried Live Alive? That was great. Yes, that was good. That was actually really good. I played that, and I don't like uh, RPGs, so that was cool. 
Oh, dude. Yeah. Live Live's lovely. A little like uh, short stories of the video game. Yes. It All was kind of yeah. it was kind of rad. And you could like bite size it. Like it was super Yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. Really cool. Joji's Josie strap an ice pack to the I don't know what it is, bro. It's like doesn't usually the camera itself doesn't feel hot. Is it plugged in? How do you, uh, what's the, the power source? Well, I, yeah, it is plugged in. I just have mm -hmm. like a dummy battery, you know, right. that like is just stays plugged in. Um, and it could oh, weird. Be, be that, mm. but, but I don't know. I feel like it'd get hot at the outlet or something and it's not, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's weird. It goes in and out of having this problem and not having it. Hey. It might be like the computer, you know, like getting hotter. Yeah, sure, sure. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know, Chad. That's why that's why we're sitting at fifteen K, not fifty, because this this mm -hmm. won't happen once I'm at fifty. Um <laughs> I I don't know. Uh maybe the battery messed up? I don't know though, because like I do this all the time. I think it's just how it be. But like I'll turn it off and turn it on and it'll be okay for ten minutes. I don't really know what it right. is. Right. Right. To be real. Um But yeah, chat, how did you guys feel, chat, about about the 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 person on the stream? Because like not you, but like having another person on the stream. Like I feel like I've never done that before. Like having a, a guest on a stream. I don't ever do that. Yeah, I was curious about it too. I was like I was like, Am I am I infringing? No, 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 you're good. I had yeah. a good time. I think it's a good I've never had like another I usually solo this, you know? Yeah. So I feel like it's cool. I feel like you have a very nice chat. So yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. They're pretty chill. And if they're yeah. not, they just get banned. So <laughs> dang, nice. I don't know. I mean, unless if they're if they're giving me real criticism, for sure. Most of the criticism I face is excessively sexist. So we try to okay. keep that out. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't know, but uh. It's awesome having another person. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it's kind of fun. I like it because I'm not just talking in the void. Some someone to yeah. talk to, you know. I saw I saw some comments during both of our streams, Josie, that people said we do great together, and we'd be a good we'd be a good talk show, you and me. So oh, I think I'd agree. That I think we fun. were, dude. We were killing it. Yeah. Yes. Um. Let me see if this camera wants to do its thing. There we go. Hey. Sort of back. Um. Yeah, I'm having Miss Click on at some point because there's drama. Just kidding. There's people who get, who think there can't be two girls on a podcast because you know. I've never heard that name before, Miss Click. She's like she used to be on the Spawncast. She um she had a kid, mm. so she stopped wow, for a cool. second. Um, but she's on and off occasionally. She's just busy, mm. busy lady. But everybody, everybody's like, you can tell that they really hate each other when we're on at the same time. And I'm like, what do you mean? I've never Whoa. had more respect for someone. Like, dang, I gotta tell you, pitting women against each other is like sexism one on one. It is. That's it's like, really come crazy, on, dude. That's crazy, baby sexism. Dang. Yeah, it's truly wild. I'm like, okay, I don't know why you would think that we don't like each other. We're just, um. So, anyways, I'm gonna have her on because I think it's funny that people sick. Um, and people usually like to just compare the two of us a lot, which is funny because we are very. Uh. Afraid very very different um they're just like i don't know it's interesting a lot of people yeah. are like i don't know i got comments the other day that were like this bitch thinks she's as pretty as miss click and i was like when did i say that <laughs> whoa i come but on also... my stream with no makeup i don't put in any effort click is out here doing the most and she looks great all the time i never ever try looks -wise. but the, the but like the implication that you are competing with her simply that's what because I'm... you are both because you're both women in the same room you're in competition <laughs> I'm you're, just that's like, brutal that's, so that's crazy. brutal yeah yeah it's just funny she's a zelda youtuber she wouldn't consider herself a zelda youtuber for the past that's true she doesn't like the new zelda game very much how'd you feel about tears of the kingdom you like that game oh not for me no not for me i okay. really liked breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom i thought was uh yeah, I, I've got very strong opinions about this game, so I don't want to, you know, we don't need to get totally okay, into okay. it. But um, but for me, it's just that, like, I think I'm growing tired of... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom was a game of, that didn't have anything to say. 
it, like, mm -hmm. it's just, there's a bad guy, we have to stop him, and there's, like, the most, it's a more impressive game than it is an interesting one. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I totally get, like, all the systems in the game are, like, really cool and they're really impressive, but, like, none of it means anything to me emotionally. Like, it's just... You're just in a video game doing video game stuff, so okay. it was it was tough for me, tough for me to get attached. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I think she had a similar issue. She didn't like the the um. I don't want to speak for her, but I'm pretty sure she was talking yeah. about she didn't like uh, the story very much. Yeah, dude. When the when the game starts up, they put you in that cave with Zelda, and it's like. It's like a very linear, you've got yeah. a little companion. It like the way it's the camera is, it's like you're playing The Last of Us. You're like, what am I about to play? Yeah. And then, and then it's just not that. <laughs> that level of like cinematic attention never shows up again for the rest of the game. Yeah. And yeah, it's my my quote from like the GX review that I think I repeat a lot is um everything in Tears of the Kingdom is as cool out of context as it is in context. So mm -hmm. if you see a 10 second clip from the game. You don't need anything else in the game to understand that clip. It is exactly that cool. Oh my God, there's a dragon. Like nothing about the dragon is cool. It's just that it is a dragon. Right. It's like, you know, and the fact that it doesn't, it, it doesn't go anywhere after that is I think my, my problem with it is that, cause it's like a, if a, a game is a medium with a beginning, middle and an end, then mm -hmm. I want to see storytelling that evolves over the beginning, middle and end but it's so non-linear and it doesn't understand how to tell a non-linear story. Yeah. So it just, yeah. So it's just, it, it doesn't build and instead moves laterally the entire game. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it doesn't, it's for, for me and my taste, it's just not what I'm looking for in a game. Okay. I understand. Yeah. 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 I kind of liked it, but, but I didn't, Dude, I, didn't I get it. I get it. About it. I'm glad be, when people real. like a game that I don't like Josie, I'm, I, I think that that's awesome. Yeah, that's I, how like, I am too. Yeah, I th like when I tell people about the dumb games that I like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I tell them I love those games. I hope they're happy for me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So, anyways, Click is gonna be on yeah. chat at some point. I think probably next week. So that should be fun. Um, we'll duke it out. Just kidding. We're friends. I have the most respect for Click, so it's really crazy <laughs> what people are saying. Um. But yeah, I think this was pretty fun. It was nice to have another person. Because usually I just sit here and cool. spew. So I had a good time. Yeah, dude. I'm, um, I'm here sometimes. I'm in the chat. Yeah, no, you are. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. I think you're like the only person I watched live stream. You and like OJ sometimes. And like Ludwig. Wow. That's about it. Wow. I like the vibes. Uh, what a kindness. Josie, I love when you show up in the chat. Thank you. Lights yeah. me up. Yeah, I like yeah. the vibes, you know. Um, cool. Josie, whoa, I was hyped to see Ganondorf back only for him to get... 10 minutes of screen time he deserved better yes nintendo gamer yes do something with it do storytelling yeah <laughs> give tears to the kingdom the live live writers then <laughs> glad to have you on for the 15k streak stream jake wow. oh thanks medallion it's very kind wow well yeah thanks chat for 15k that's huge i really appreciate it um at some point i'm gonna stream again probably this week and i'm gonna give away a bunch of codes for it um smash bros whatnot i don't know i feel like i feel like i appreciate you guys for for giving me a platform and all that and i have some codes so we'll start giving that shit away um also if celia wants to be a homie and give me some shovel knight we can also give away some shovel knight we will see um but that's the vibe thank you guys for hanging out thank you jake again huge appreciation for you to be here um i'll be live again this week chat don't know what time don't know when don't know what day but i will let you guys know on the community pad page um Maybe I stream for my birth. Eh, I don't know if I'm going to do that chat. I'm probably going to be drunk. I'm going to be real with you guys. But <laughs> <laughs> but I will see you guys soon, okay? Thanks, D-Man, for being here. Um, thanks, everybody, for being here. It's Vibey. 